Remember this one? Ladies and gentlemen, when Jim was alive and kicking. So we had this melody of memories. Remember this one? Ladies and gentlemen, when Jim was alive and kicking. So we had this melody of memories. Remember this one? Ladies and gentlemen, when Jim was alive and kicking. So we had this melody of memories. Remember this one? Ladies and gentlemen, when Jim was alive and kicking. So we had this melody of memories.
Tonight, it's a Godwinson live news alert, ladies and gentlemen. Did you know Ethan Ralph yet again has had another pill stream? It repeats constantly, this cycle of events. It used to be the case when someone new did something new and it was covered and it became a focal point, a nexus point that we could all A-log and talk about and make content around. Instead, we've been stuck on the Ralph groove for four years. And now we're pretending that the new pill stream is the second one. It's apparently only the second time Ralph's had a pill stream. Are they going to be breaking news that Ralph's an alcoholic as well? It's, bre it's a GNN live news alert. Ralph is an alcoholic. Ralph had a gunt. Ralph uh, has two kids. But it's the pill stream 2.0. And I felt that I could truly do a last bow justice by going over it. I've not seen this, but I know that they went for eight and a half hours. Eight and a half hours, folks. On a pill stream that you'd think PPP would know the law about. PPP, it is not pill stream two. But it's pill stream two if you're constantly in the cycle of refreshing the same old shit every six months to the same old shit audience. If you're constantly in the zone of reissuing the same tired yesterday's newspapers and presenting them as new, then yeah, yeah, it's Pillstream 2. It's Pillstream 2, folks. It's not like it's the 10th one. It ain't like it's the 10th one, folks, but, you know. So I wanted really to go into this. Because it's a state of things now. Because if you're a Ralph A-Log, that pill stream last night that Ralph... I mean, Ralph's been on a series of pill streams recently. But you'd be thinking, okay, everything's back on track. We can all coalesce around Ralph hatred again. And we can get our content in order. And we can pivot the new storylines. He's just on another pill stream. We've been waiting for 18 months for this. Instead, it literally is as though it hasn't even happened. It warrants the exact same amount of coverage in its execution, in its commentary, from these two faggots. Then Ralph farting, Ralph falling off his chair, Ralph doing anything. Because they've blown their load. They've shot their whole load months and months ago and have been doing so frequently on any old shit. On any old Kino shade shit has been receiving the gold star treatment. And when something truly does happen, that everyone can coalesce around. Because let's be honest, PPP and Worski are the big dogs of the Ethan Ralph hatred sector. Now their views might be botted, their donos might be faked. But if you really do hate Ethan Ralph, and you've got a Twitter account that you've verified yourself, where you're posting out daily, minutely updates on the man's comings and goings. You want your shit to be covered, not by Cog, not by any of the scum suckers, but by the king of the scum suckers, Andy Worski. You want it to be on the flagship show. The flagship show. The Kino Casino. That's where you want it. You want it here. You want these two to gild your lily. Give you the gold star service treatment. No, your eyes don't deceive you. Worski's in 4K. 
PPP is being powered by Microsoft PowerPoint. Like, it truly is. The same old shit. As we power through this, you'll hear PPP say, I want Ralph to live to keep making me money so I can line my wallet. I genuinely don't think his wallet's being lined, folks. When he can only afford PowerPoint to present his streams within. When he has an inability to stream in anything beyond four frames a second. When he literally comes at you in 144 PPP. The only thing that's being lined of Ashton's is his stomach. None of that money's being saved. That's if it's even real. That's if it's even real, folks. But the kings of the sector, of the Ethan Ralph, flay him alive, drink his blood sector. And here they are, they've got a pill stream on their hands. It's breaking news. Let's go. Literally. It's like he's being animated by a child flipping through a notebook. Like, truly. But the gall the man has to say that Ethan Ralph has come off the wagon. Bro. At what point do you look at your own shortcomings? At what point do you say, maybe I've had too many burgers? Maybe I look worse than Ethan Ralph ever fucking did. I mean, this is a random freeze frame. I didn't time this to, to coalesce with this. The face of Seath. But that's the face of a winner. Now, I remember back in the day when this fat fuck genuinely could curb stomp Ethan Ralph. American History X style. This guy never could, always talentless, always a retard, always a parasite that latched on to a bigger lord and master. But this guy genuinely at one point had talent. But it's Killstream 2. Pillstream 2. What service star treatment will they give this one then? So Worski stops him immediately when he starts singing he's in love with the cocoa. He goes, it's the pills, it's the pills, not the cocoa. Because his own shortcomings are immediately apparent the moment they attack anyone. Because they're hypocrites. Just absolute hypocrites. We can't mention the cocoa. We have to mention pills instead. Alas. Isn't this sad? Like, I genuinely do feel. Genuinely. Sadness in my heart that my apprentice has resorted to this. That my, my apprentice can't even come to you like this, in motion, where you can see all of the frames, where his hand can move across the screen. Like that. My apprentice is literally coming to you like a, a, a Mickey Mouse on the steam train, 1922 style. I mean, let me show you this. It's 
Same old song and dance, isn't it? The guy's threatening my family, my grandfather's... By the way, not even real, not even true. But let's not forget that that's the origin story. That he allowed everyone to believe was real. That Ralph came at his fucking grandfather, got him kicked out of the church. When it was his own actions that got him kicked out. Like, he splayed his anus. He told all of his congregation, audience of six people, that he had a YouTube channel. They tune in, they see him splaying his anus. And then he blames Ethan Ralph for that. Because it was a good origin story to get him clout. But... Because we're in this cycle, yet again, of presenting old news as new news, it's... They're, Ethan Ralph's coming for his grandfather again. Ethan Ralph's coming for his family again. And that will make PPP righteous. What? Ethan Ralph is going to go find his grandfather and break his legs? What? Ethan Ralph is going to go find PPP's grandfather and break his legs? That smells like shit to me, bro. It smells like another fake origin story to give you some sort of justification for still going at this. I mean, like, come on. Come on. Ethan Ralph, the, the architect of all of this man's pain. And that gives him justification to behave in absolutely shameless ways. To absolutely behave as though he's a better man than Ethan Ralph. Even when he does actions that far exceed Ethan Ralph's own degeneracy. Is it just me, folks? Doth the lady protest too much? Not only is it Pillstream 2, but it's also they're coming for PPP's grandfather part 2. A thing that never even happened to begin with, and a thing that he didn't even fucking claim in this one. You know what? Perhaps it's time your grandfather had a visit from Ethan Ralph PPP, because you've spoke about it enough. Perhaps you actually do make reality not fiction anymore. Perhaps we can finally see that happen. Perhaps we can finally have your origin story become true. Instead of just bullshit nonsense to justify your own existence. It's Gomerson! He's coming for my grandfather! He's going to break his legs! PPP's grandfather. PPP's grandfather is ultimately responsible for PPP. The family upbringing that PPP had, the white trash that led to this 500 pound whale, who justifies all of his actions in comparison with Ethan Ralph. That's what PPP's grandfather is ultimately responsible for. This. So maybe it's time for PPP's grandfather to feel some retribution, hmm? To feel some justice, hmm? PPP's fucking grandfather. Dear him, but that's where we're at, folks. It's yet again another visit to PPP's grandfather. They're coming for him. It gives him justification to do this on stream every night for years. He's threatening his family, he's going after his grandfather. Oh! Let's not pretend, by the way, that PPP, Worski, and all of these gay opping faggots were literally doing deep fake sex tapes of Ralph's family. Let's not pretend that when we go through this stream and you see the end here, the last two hours of this stream are them A-logging a wholesome family man with his kids in a buffet where they're literally going round the stream, freeze-framing it and calling the kids losers. 
saying that they're going to grow up to be alcoholics and felons. Begging the audience, their robot audience, to call the police and CPS to get the kids taken off this wholesome family man. But no, they're, they're coming after PPP's family. Oh. An hour later, I'm just like, oh man, I feel bad for Ralph. Like, pray for Ralph. Like, this guy is dying slowly on the air. It's like... Oh, this guy is dying slowly on the air. Can we just do a quick hypocrisy check? Can we just do a quick hypocrisy check? If you're going to do Keto Dogma 2007, it's going to take some toll on your body. Your hairline's going to get pretty fucked. Mine's just about holding in. But PPP has rapidly lost everything. Rapidly. There's literally a strand of hair on his head. He's eating himself into oblivion. It gets wider. And now people have said, oh, you know, surely the money he's getting. Surely it's just an ironic troll that he's coming at you in 144p every night. That he's coming at you through PowerPoint every night. Well, I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you. But science has proven when you're 800 pounds and you're a land whale and you sit in front of a webcam, it will distort any Wi-Fi connection you have. And the proof is here in the pudding. Folks. Ethan Ralph's lining his pocket. If Ethan Ralph dies, what's PPP going to do? I don't know. Maybe you'll lose out on one of the fucking Uber Eats deliveries you receive. One of the ten you receive during the day. Maybe you'll have to forgo one of the Big Macs that you shovel down your pipe hole. Just one. Maybe, God forbid, you'll lose some weight, bro. Because all the money's doing, it's not being saved. It's not being invested in the show. It's not, it's not even being invested in PPP's own health and well-being. It's simply going on Grubhub deliveries. The man spends at least $100 a day on food. At least. That's a very conservative projection as well. To keep up PPP's diet at this point, it must be true. I mean, the guy is 500 fucking pounds. Because he's eating so much fucking fast food, you might have noticed that he's become Jim Sterling-esque. The guy has no facial hair. He's literally got bitch tits swaying in the breeze. Except it's a very delayed sway because it's coming at you in Microsoft PowerPoint. It's a sleething slideshow, as you'll see. But he's literally got more HRT in his system that I think even Jim Sterling. That's got to be coming from the fast food, hasn't it? The processed shit that he's shoveling down his hole. It has to, doesn't it? He's become everything he sought to not be against. He's become the fat dyke, ladies and gentlemen. From the top on down. Show set up. I was editing, you were editing as well. Can I just say what bullshit that was? It took them five hours each to do an edit of separate clips of one pill stream. But it's to say that, oh, we're working hard, guys. We're not just sitting there eating, doing cocaine in our dad's office. And watching 90 Day Survivor, or whatever the fuck it is, 90 Day Fiance. They're not just doing that. His face betrays his own lie. And even he knows that it's bullshit. But you better believe that the combined efforts of these two men have brought 10 hours of editing to this stream, where literally they watched the clip of Ethan Ralph's pill stream. That's why it's eight hours and a half in duration. That's why it's that long. Because they actually haven't done any editing of the clips. Because they're lying to you. Because they're always going to be lying to you. And go on cozy. Another oh, pill stream. Buddy, buddy, we were sitting here like like this week. I'm like telling him, like, buddy, I don't even know if we have enough material for 
for show. Like, but, yeah, there's no way. Yeah, like, a little bit, nothing, but it was like, like, like suddenly. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is gonna be a mediocre episode. Now this may be the greatest episode, episode. of all time. Spoiler alert. It's actually their worst episode. Actually, for real, it's their most mediocre and their most basic pitch episode that they've ever put on. Like, ever. There was more enthusiasm injected into the content when they were covering for ten hours Ralph falling off his chair. But it's their greatest show of all time. Sure, like, Ethan Ralph may actually die. Lie. He may actually die before we finish the show. See, he's fucking spiraling live over... Ethan own. Ralph may die before they finish the show. He can't even finish his own sentence without burping. Can't even finish his own sentence without burping. Fucking glutton. Gluttony. In full force. Guy shows up drunk for court. It's Ethan Ralph, stop the presses. This guy shows up snorting boxed wine for his show live on air. Literally shows up to his job. Because that's what this is for these faggots. Shows up to work, drunk as a fucking skunk, snorting coke. This guy shows up sweaty as fuck to his job. Late as ever, by the way. To his own jobs, covered in sweat, drenched in fucking sweat. In the same clothes. I mean, there's a put look, look, that's a shadow of sweat there. In the same old clothes he's been wearing for weeks. So, what's the fucking difference? Ralph shows up for court shittered, you show up for work like this. There's all fucking food stains down the L.A. Lakers shirt. Like, come on. It's so retarded, I can't even remember what happened last week. Like, this guy has no compre- He doesn't even know where the fuck he is. I did a, an editing experiment, and I put Worski, the box of Worski when he's on the Kino Casino, on some random shit. Hitler speeches, all of this shit. And genuinely, he claps the same way. He goes B-jams the same way. He goes slim dong, bling blong for four gorillion dollars. He says that the same way. It actually works better with a Hitler speech, for real, than it does for this shit. But it's like he's coming at you powered by an AI. He's coming at you powered by Mackie D's. Well, uh, also, how they highlight over their own fucking gay op. Ralph, in that pill stream, brings Pansu on air. The horse sits on his lap. And what happens is, he says, Pansu, address what's going on with this gay op. Jesse from Pod Awful is making a deep fake of her and the kids. That's truly fucked up. That truly is fucked up. But how they skirt over that because they're involved with it. It's because it's Mr. Morris and Mr. Vickers, guys. It's not because we've been involved in a gay op sex tape where we've commissioned Jesse to do deep fakes of Pansu and the kids. Like, come on. Well, I honestly, we're going to show mercy. We're not even going to show Ralph's family. No, I think that's show. gross. That's we're gross. not. Yeah. Listen, I collect. He thinks it's gross because what, last time he showed pictures of his family, Coach uh, sneezed all over them and posted tributes of them everywhere. So again, his own sins betray what should be a scorched earth takedown, what should be Pillstream 2. Stop the presses. We've been waiting for this for 18 months. No, we can't do it because Worski's a pussy ass faggot who has more sins than all of them combined. Just like when they couldn't show Fagmenko's paedophile history because this guy has been sharing vile images of fucking underage children.
by the way, folks, don't worry. Ashton's internet. Yeah, Ashton's internet. Usually, it sucks for thirty minutes, and it picks up later. Don't worry. But if you spoiler alert, it don't pick up later. It never picks up later. <laughs> what a cope! What what delusion! Stay around, please. Even though he's coming at you live from the fucking sp whatever this is, literal paperclip era Microsoft XP. It will get better later. Please stick around, please. We hear you perfectly. It's just like you can get like a stop motion animation. We don't even hear him perfectly either because his audio is delayed and stuttering all the time. But we hear you perfectly. The cope. There we go. Another one of PPP's sins that he bats away because Ethan Ralph, guys, when you're called up on anything and your response is, oh, Ethan Ralph, guys, over there, look. All that proves to me is that you're a faggot and you need to really consider that dark night of the soul where you're holding the calibre in your hand and you're about to eat something that's a bit, a bit smaller than your Uber Eats order, PPP. The state of your life, Ethan Ralph, is more felted than PPPs could ever be. Like, come on. Can we see that? Can we just witness this in its full glory? I mean, X to doubt on that one, PPP. X to doubt. Maybe a log someone that you can visibly be a champion against. Maybe give the audience a dichotomy of which to root for. I lost the weight, PPP, purely out of spite because it made me more effective to come at this bloated whale of an apprentice that I left behind in the dirt. Why don't you try and lose the weight, buddy, instead of promising it? This is his fifth weight loss challenge, by the way. And, <clears throat> spoiler alert, yet again, he will not lose the weight. He will just gain more. Because he's fat. And at this point, he's more HRTT than man. Guys, well, it's, getting, it's getting to the point where it's almost not even funny. It's still really funny. It's actually hilarious. But even I am like, oh, man, what do we do? Like, what if Ralph dies today? And he's like, just show him no mercy. Like, I'm Worrying pussy, PPP, because he's more woman than man now. It's all about ethics and A-logging and, oh, we need, to, we need to wear kid gloves. And even this faggot is, is able to say, wait, let's know half measures, Ralph. It truly is. A d to end on, this truly is a revelation for me. Because there ain't going to be no long walk back. There ain't going to be no second chances. I'm genuinely convinced that we're about to see him troon out in the next six months. Come at you like Jim Sterling. Covered in boglings. And, and whatever degeneracy he gathers during his transition. It ain't going to be pretty, folks. But he'll justify all of his nonsense. All of his AAA microtransactions. Because, oh, at least he's not Ethan Ralph. That's your true metric for life. At least you're not Ethan Ralph. He, he threatened your grandpa today. Well, like, he's got a fucking drink. He's got a past. Fuck this guy. Guys, legitimately insane. He dropped my passport. Fuck this guy. Look, Ralph didn't drop your passport, Worski. You dropped your passport. Because you're a retard. Because you're a genuine fucking retarded man. You dropped your passport to people like Geek Thulu and Kyla and other snakes that eventually archived that to make its way to Ethan Ralph. But it was, it was him that... Come on, take responsibility for your own actions, traitor and tart. It ain't difficult. If you fuck up, you say you fucked up. 
All of your sins aren't absolved because Ethan Ralph got drunk today. I mean, even his Ethan Ralph voice is cocked to fuck now. His Ethan Ralph voice is more estrogen than man now. It used to be, I'm not, it's not even hot outside. Matt, no! Die already! Die! I ain't heard no bell. I have not, in fact, heard that bell. It, there, used, there used to be an actual impression that came from PPP. And not just this fat southern bell trying to do Ralph. I mean... I'll be there at your last moment, Swalski. It's gonna be my face, you see! He can't even do that anymore. He literally is clutching his pearls like a fat dyke. No, not my gunt! That's how he sounds when he's doing his Ralph impression. Insane. Like, he's off this fucking medication. He's like, like, I'm gonna release a tape. Let's have an approach. I'm going to release a tape. I'm going to release a tape. What a, what a really great Ralph impression from My Apprentice there. I'm gonna release a tape. I don't give a fuck. I'll shit and piss. <laughs> I can die in that lyric. I could have died in that ring and still live. Like, what happened, bro? Boxing fight? Boxing fight? We have it recorded too, like, it's us just trying to make a fucking boxing match happen, you fucking retard. Well, Ralph did have the smoking gun. Un <coughs> Confession. <laughs> uh, Ralph has passed me the tapes where PPP is literally begging to be part of this ralph -a mania event and literally begging to uh, be the headline fight of the event. Begging him. Licking the gun crease like... I've not heard since Shannon, really. I've not heard gun crease licking since... Of that caliber since Shannon. But release the tape. We've got nothing to fear. We've got nothing to hide. As they close their eyes, flinchingly. Unable to take the punches. Do you want to reset your modem? Do you want to reset your mode? Just a meat, just killed, just dead, just fucking curb stomped by Andy Worski mid promo. You've brought out your best. You've done your Southern Bell Ethan Ralph voice. You've literally just tried to sweep away the fact that you were licking gunk crease to be in Ralph Mania. And as you're trying to keep going, do you want to just reset your modem, please? Let's have you fight Worski. Let's settle the beef. Then well, let's yeah, all fight yeah. you and Ralph Amelia. You want to reset your, your modem? Yo, reset it's your like, modem, bro. Reset uh, your... Can we not, bro? Can we not? Can we... Can, just reset your modem, bro. Just reset your modem, bro. <laughs> Felt it. That is a felted moment. And it's doubly worse because you're being spoken down to like a child by an actual child killer. By a man who can't even say his name convincingly. But this is your boss and you're his employee. So just reset your modem, you fat pig. Reset your modem, I'll, I'll do the intro because I have to... Just... Reset your modem, I'll do the intro. Maybe change your shirt there, buddy, you know. He goes, yes, sir, like a bitch. You know. But they can't even do it. They can't even do the Ralph takedown convince. There was a point in time where even half of what happened with the Ralph Pillstream 2, as we're calling it, last night, where even half of that would have been content, would have brought fire and brimstone. Now it just warrants a reset your modem, bro, and allowing Worski to do the intro. While you sheepishly... <laughs> 
sheepishly just fucking take it like a bitch. What happened, okay? Don't Look, there he goes. He's he's literally resetting his modem. Under the orders of his employer. Fucking pathetic. So you've just seen there how he's unable, unable to present his own opinions for more than three seconds before he instantly switches to the super chats because that's all he's got because he's a brain dead mongoloid. Now, the bags under Worski's eyes are truly fucked. Like a fucking panda bear there. But he's having a good time. He's having a great time. He's a real winner, just like his co-host. He can sink into whatever depraved depths of decadence and degeneracy. Because, you know what? If he says, look, Ethan Ralph over there, then all of his sins are absolved. He can literally snort this shit on air. Because Ethan Ralph is an alcoholic, guys. Like, come on. Come on. And let's not forget that this man, who's barely even coherent, the addict of his age, is the one giving orders. Calling the shots. This, folks... You wanted the answer, the conclusion to the long-running storyline of who's the king of the sector? That's your king of the sector, bro. That's your king of the sector. I don't like it. I ain't ever gonna like it. But you, chat, Kinoche, VHS archived, kill all pedos, Zanny Berries, and all of the other verified faggots on Twitter who are paying Twitter a monthly subscription to have that blue tick. This is what you've allowed to become king of the sector. This is what you're hoping all of your fucking chips into. Every time anything happens on Ethan Ralph, you're wanting this to cover it on air, on his flagship show. That's your king of the sector right there. And I hope you're happy with it. I hope you're happy with what you've, what you've got there, what you're being served. Who's he to talk about bird bones and no stamina? For real, man lasts nine seconds in the ring. Bird bones, no stamina? Like, bro. Bro. A dead sheep has more stamina than you, Worski. And that sheep's dead. Bird bones, no stamina, bro. This is Rock for 20 bucks. Just want to say, great work, guys. It's been like 10 consistent Kino shows in a row. That's when you know the donos are fake. That's when you know the donos are fake. When it's literally such a gaslighting lie. Ten great shows in a row. <laughs> Ten really great shows in a row. That's when you know that these donos ain't coming from a real place. They're coming from that real place that PPP's grandfather is at. Where he's constantly under threat of Ethan Ralph breaking his legs. You know, that really real place. Of things that absolutely are happening right now. Look at how he holds the phone like an absolute retard. Like a complete fool. This is how he holds his phone when he's on calls with people. 
This is a guy who probably eats holding the fucking... When he holds cutlery, he holds the sharp ends. It's a fucking miracle that this man is still alive at this point. Hasn't drowned in the bathtub. That's how he holds his phone, by the way. And if you wanted any more proof of how much of a retard he is, I'm just going to allow him to keep on speaking. How is this real? It's fucking... And then, yeah, so we wake up fucking hours and hours of prep, right? Not only the Ralph stuff... But hours and hours of prep. The pill stream was like an hour long, if that. And this is an eight hour and a half stream. Because they didn't edit the clip. <laughs> it's just retardation. In fact, the only thing they edited out of the clip was their own complicity. They edited out the fact that Pansu calls out Jesse from Pod Awful for making deep fake videos, porn videos of her and the kids. They edit that out. That's why that needed an edit, that clip. Like, come on. It's just shameless. Just fucking shameless. Alternate reality nonsense. Look, I don't think I don't think resetting the modem worked, did it, bros? It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. Uh, Ralph's thrown, thrown in the towel and allow my fucking bitch tit, my right bitch tit that's covered in sweat to present that breaking news alert. Ralph has thrown in the towel. Well, maybe you can get that towel off him and fucking wipe yourself down, you fat fuck. You see the sweat here? That's truly fucked. He's dripping. And he's, you know, we've gone for about an hour because we've been analysing this frame by frame, but they are not even 10 minutes into their show. And he's already dripping in sweat. Yeah, I think you should just shut your whole self off, BPP. Just shut it all down, bro. Just, just shut it all down. <laughs> Bear in mind, it's Pillstream 2. It's the night where the A-Log should be drinking Ralph's blood. It's the night when all of the Ralph haters can coalesce around their flagship show and clap like seals because, yes, the two kings of the sector are putting out the best promo that money can buy. For now we're good. I'll, 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 I'll say anything. Right. Are you downloading anything or anything like that in the background? No, let me, let me make sure I'm not Are you downloading that. anything in the background? Shall we do a quick question chat? What could PPP possibly be downloading in the background there? What might he be downloading in the background that would disturb his, his internet connection to such a degree? People are saying CP. People are saying pictures of food. CP or pictures of food? CP1. Pictures of food 2. What might be do? Is it... CP? Or is it food? Hundreds of megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes. There's lots of ones. It's tough. It's really tough. And even when he's reset his modem, even when he's reset his modem, he's fucked. The Kino answer is to say both, by the way. That's the true Patrician answer. To do a one and a two. Now we hear you fine. I was just telling people how I I messaged you called you in the middle of the night and I just went like, this is nuts. Look, he 
he's, he's just so he holds his phone. Not even near his fucking ear. He's just talking into his phone. This bitch is taking it as he's like piping away going, Andy, no, don't kill yourself, Andy. It'll all be okay. The chat loves you, Andy. You're a king. He's not even listening. He's not even listening because he doesn't even know how to hold his fucking mobile phone. Holds it like a baboon. Like a, like a genuine f fool would hold a phone. He's dr look, he's taken the glasses off because they're already drenched in sweat. He's wiping the sweat from his eyes with a sweat fucking sodden LA Lakers shirt. That's the face of a man who has no masculinity left. A smooth, baby-faced HRT monster. I mean, in what way was this like... We're gonna drink Ralph's blood. In what way is their arrival imminent? And it's a sorry Gator moment because Ralph's just had his last kit, just done another pill stream. Like he's wiping away sweat from his brow. He's covered in sweat. He's bald like an egg now with one strand of hair across his fucking forehead. And he's not even 15 minutes into his show. And he's had to reset his modem already. That's tough. That's really tough. Like five minutes later, ten minutes later, whatever. There were sections where Ralph was just head down and fucking music's playing for like 20 minutes. Straight. With no movement. I'm like, is what he dead? Realize, no, but what, do you, what do you realize at a certain point, Andy, watching it, is you realize not even A-logs watch this shit anymore. No! Like, nobody even hate watches Self-awareness moment. Self-awareness moment. Not even the A-logs are watching this shit anymore. Not even the A-logs are watching this shit anymore. It's just botted viewers and fake donors. <laughs> Guy can barely even wipe his own ass, for real. But yet again, they're promoting their own prominence in the sector. It's because PPP tweeted out that Ralph was doing a pill stream that it happened. That's what they just said. It's because those guys tweeted it out that it happened. And it wasn't that PPP got the news alert from Kinoche and the other fucking 10 verified faggots. That watch everything that Ralph does and clips it. No, it was because PPP did it. So I hope you realise, Kino Shea, and all of you other fucking scum-sucking faggots, that no matter how far you go doing the Ethan Ralph news alert content, you will always be attempted to be big-dogged by this fat fuck, by this troon, who's going to say that he sets the agenda. That you ain't nothing without him. Plus the stange, the small things change, the more they stay the same. Fucking tundra internet that I have in a fucking igloo with gas-powered internet. I have to keep fucking dumping propane into the fucking router to get it to fucking work, I guess. Uh, it's like literally third world conditions and I'm not even in Mexico, yeah. for fuck's sake. <laughs> you know, I... I, I am like tweeting it out. I'm like, will somebody just record this shit? Will somebody pay attention? Ralph's about to die. And by, by uh, the way, how you know, how much like, like, you and I hate watching Ralph? Like, not like hate watch and we're like laughing. We just don't watch Ralph because it's so miserable. Now their whole job, right? Every fucking stream they've ever done has had Ralph in the title. I had Ralph in the thumbnail. And they've just admitted there that they don't even watch Ralph. When it's literally their bread and butter. It's their job to watch Ralph and get content on Ralph so they can pretend that they're better people than Ralph. They don't even do that, folks. They don't even, they don't even watch Ralph. 
They don't even watch Fuentes or any of the other faggots they clip and talk about for 12 hours a night. But you're going to them and they're setting the agenda on Ralph Hatred. They're the true kings of the sector. At least watch what you're going to talk about. Or else what expertise do you have? You just have the same old song and dance where my origin story is that Ralph doxed my grandfather. My origin story is that Ralph... I mean, what did Ralph do to this guy? Before this guy snaked. Like, the guy literally was picked up from the gutter by Ralph. Given, like, a fourth chance by Ralph. But, oh! But you, I don't know what it was. You're like, I'll check it out. We were doing our show prep. The show prep for Gumroad, ladies and gentlemen. The show prep for Gumroad is 90 Day Fiance and that Survivor thing they watch. The show prep for Gumroad. So fuck the actual show that they scam the donos from and get people to uh, go to this Gumroad for, prom hoping and promising to people that it's going to be more stuff like Ethan Ralph paywall content. Well, the stuff, it's too spicy to cover on the show. No, you're just getting 90 Day Fiance and shit like that. He's like, no, we didn't, Andy. Stop lying. We had nothing prepped. We were just waiting for Ralph to do something. Like, he knows it's a lie. You can see in the man's face that he knows it's a lie. Uh, no. Show starts right now. He <clears throat> bullish, He can't even form a sentence. There are he can't even form a sentence? Bro. Bro. Worski can barely even say his name convincingly. Any sentence that Worski performs is an achievement. Anything he says aloud is an achievement. Let's be honest. But Slim Don Bling Blong for four gorillion dollars says this. He can't even form a sentence. He's slurring his words. This genuine is like a monster, by the way. An absolute, this will haunt me. My greatest shame, 10 years on the internet. People say, oh, you've never had a scandal. You've been around for such a long time. You've not succumbed to the pill streams and the, whatever went on with Fuentes and all of the other scandals that have plagued various kings of the sector as time's gone by. Well, I'm gonna let you in on something, folks. My biggest shame, genuinely, the one thing that keeps me up at night, the one skeleton in my closet, is the fact that I allowed this to happen. I gave this man an audience, a platform, my Bible, my Kino Dogme 2007 script, and I allowed this to come into the world. That's what will be on my tombstone. Gobinson. Allowed this to... Allowed this. And you know what? I can't think of a no greater sin, for real. I fucked up. I fucked up real big. I really dropped the ball on this one. I, you only have my apologies. My sincere, heartfelt apologies on this one. I really am truly sorry. I apologise, ladies and gentlemen. It's like he's existing within the space within spaces, man. That's your scorched earth take. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it truly is something when you've said something that's truly 
been more retarded than anything Worski can say. And you've got that to fucking comprehend with, that reaction. Worski's like, whoa, the guy's just said something completely retarded. Maybe I'm the genius here. Maybe you are, Worski. Maybe you are the fucking genius. Maybe you were the genius the whole fucking time and we just didn't know it. You know, I, I'm sorry. I did my best to give him a really great Ralph impression. I did all the Jedi training with the man. I, I, I gave him everything he could possibly need. The psychological break in the gate! Not even hot outside. I don't give a fuck. I shit and piss myself right here. I don't give a fuck. I gave him everything I could possibly give. And he learned nothing and resorted to his true self, a fat troon. Reason, sir, like, the needful, sir, like, please, Mr. Bell. He's like, listen. This, 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 right here, folks, is all my fault. This is all my fault. And I apologize wholeheartedly. Now this is PPP going at Ralph because Ralph says, no, I'm not going to clean up after myself. PPP's clutching his pearls and saying, whoa, how can Ralph do this? What a piece of shit Ralph is. Bro, bro, shall we do a little history tour? You wouldn't even wipe your own ass. You wouldn't even wipe your own toilet seat. You'd have your manservant surfer do it for you. But because Ethan Ralph's doing it, even though you've done far worse, that means you're better. Whoa. Maybe you don't be a hero on this one, Ashton. Ralph immediately, like, is like, okay, I appreciate your time, miss. Uh, I'm, I'm going to work that out. And he just, like, bails on the call. What? After, like, 25 minutes of fame. I don't know like, if you remember this. I don't know if you remember this. Cause we were all I don't know if you remember this, Ashton, but you had your roommate clean up after you like a wife. I don't remember if you remember this one, Ashton, but you literally didn't wipe your own ass. You wouldn't even wipe the toilet seat that was covered in fecal matter. I don't know if you remember this one, Ashton, but... I don't know if you remember this. I don't know if you remember this, because we were all over the place yesterday trying to like, fucking capture this shit. But there's like a part where he's like so belligerent talking about this event for like 30 minutes straight. And then he just starts shouting out people in chat to move to Mexico. Like, well, why the fuck aren't you living here? Is Listen, you want to hear here? about the, Mex you... the Mexican milk? Oh the Mexican my god. Milk? I, see, I didn't hear the first the part. Mexican milk. The Mexican milk, guys. Shall we do another fucking history tour? This guy used to drink milk from a bag. From a bag. Milk from a bag. But now he's gonna log the milk. When his own milk drinking sins are far worse. He used to drink milk from a fucking bag, folks. Editing the first part. And the, the, mil the, the milk in Mexico, we split it up two and a half hours each. So we're each going. I went through the first two and a half. Andy went through the back two and a half. He had the better shift because as it goes on, it's like a descent into madness. Oh. Like, he gets more and more fucked up on drugs. Oh. Like in the first clips, you're like, oh, okay, well, this is pretty standard for Ralph. He's had like t 20 drinks <laughs> you know, and like smoked a bunch of pot and pops some pills. By like the fourth, fifth clip, you're like, shit, he's had probably 45, 50 drinks, a half bottle of pills, salt shaker of cocaine, three hits of meth. Fuck it. 
Now, he had none of those things. The reality is, Ralph's favourite concoction is Zannies and booze. That's what makes him go that way. Zannies and booze. But now he's had meth and heroin and coke and, and everything else. It's, it's literally just Zannies and booze. That's the Ralph cocktail. That's all it's ever been. I mean, he's been on coke a few times. Let's not pretend otherwise. Let's not pretend he's not been high as fuck on weed. But l the pill streams are Zannies and booze. It's heroin. It's everything else. He's injecting heroin at this point. Like, come on. Come on. Heroin now. <laughs> what I'm trying to illustrate is, and this comes from the king of kayfabe himself, when something genuinely does happen like this, you don't need to gild the lily. If it truly is a pill stream and we need to stop the presses, and we need to get everyone else in full force on a three-line whip, where we're all going at Ralph and drinking his blood, we don't need to say that he's been injecting heroin live on stream when it, it clearly hasn't happened. It's literally just Zannies and Boost. Come on. Like, what the fuck what? is this guy on? Well, well, Zannies and Boost. What the fuck is this guy on? Like, Zannies and Boost. They're trying to make out that Ralph on Zannies and Boost is the most crazy shit they've ever seen. It's literally just a man falling asleep and slurring his words. That's all it is. You know, he's not out there shooting up a school. He's, he's just falling at... He's, ah, okay, the... Gator was a pedophile. That's all it is, right? The, the pill stream last night was... Pat Sue! Pat Sue's giving me a lovely breakfast here. Sausage and eggs. Thank you, Pat. Hey, sit on my lap, Pat Sue. Tell the audience what you think. Nay! Nay! All right, Pat Sue, I'll have you go. I'll be caught later on. But that's the most fucked up shit they've ever seen. Ralph's on heroin and crack and everything else. Not just a Zanny booze cocktail. Off the camera and he gets fucked up more. No, remember, he, he literally has a, 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 a part, and again, we have them all prepared for you. There's a part where he literally... So what I think happened was I did coke for a year, so I... I, I don't uh, X to doubt on that one. I did coke for just a year, bro. Bro. One year of cocaine use don't make you look like Andy Worski. For real. <laughs> One year of cocaine use. That was all the guy did. His sins are absolved. Just one year of cocaine use. And you look like that. Uh, big X to doubt on that one. Just as PPP's only been eating burgers for a year. You know. <laughs> How? <laughs> he keeps going down to rip lines without turning off the camera. Look how Worski was so shocked by that. Not one month ago, Worski, you were going live on air. Going down, ripping lines off a box of wine. The hypocrisy. Keep going down to rip lines without turning off the camera. What? Even he's like, bro. We can't do this one convincingly. Like, come on. <laughs> we, can't, we can't do this segment convincingly. He even called you out on your shit, Worski. He even snaked you publicly on that shit. And, and got that um, perspic uh, perspicacity show going. He was going to palace kill you with Persian. Imagine. Because you were ripping lines live on air. But, you know, his face says it all. We can't do this one convincingly. He keeps going down to rip lines without turning off the camera. One part... Hello, darkness, my old friend. ...was stuck on his fucking glasses. And he's trying to do it like you can get the stuff. Oh, buddy, this morning... Now, I've also done an edit where I used that exact clip of Worski describing that and putting it on his footage where he's doing that. And it works perfectly.
Oh, the fun last man. night was pretty bad. Buddy, this morning's Coke sniffs. Like the Coke sniffs, bro. It was such a fucking scandal for you when you were doing Coke sniffs live on air that you had to cope and say it was a box of wine. <laughs> not one month ago. Not one month ago. I have to ask you all. I don't. I never really ask you guys. Go head of my Twitter at Andy Worski. I just tweeted out we're live. You can't miss this one. Everyone who can. You can't miss this one. You can't miss this one, guys. Give us money. You can't miss this one. But bear in mind, last show we had the sex tape. Show before that we had Ralph farting. Show before that he fell off his chair. But this one you can't miss. Like, you can't miss it. We may even have to go watch Ralph's replay that he just ended at the end of the show. Yeah. Like, we may not get to anything other than Ralph. We got like a bunch of what a surprise. Stuff. What a surprise. <laughs> it's always just Ralph. Every fucking time for 12 hours. And then you pussy out and want to watch pictures of food because you're getting hungry and then you A-log a man taking his family to a buffet. Oh I gotta ask yourself, at what point like, did the gun guard just throw up their hands and say, like, we quit? Like, we can't There's no gun guard left, is there? Where is the Gunt Guard? The Gunt Guard resigned en masse. Shannon Gaines is gone. Fag Menko's gone. Andy Worski is gone. Rand is gone. The Gunt Guard is literally Bibble. The Gunt Guard. The fact is, it's mainstream and popular to hate Ralph. There is no Gunt Guard anymore. There's no Gunt Guard. There, there truly is no Gunt Guard. But we've got an illusionary boogeyman that we have to make the content to A-Log against. The fact is, it's, it's well and truly incredibly popular. And will make you money on the internet if you show a clip of Ralph and react to it like a retard. There's a sub-forum out there of Ralph. There's about ten verified Twitters tweeting out everything that Ralph does on a minutely basis. There are no gunt guards left. Zero. Zero. Shannon left the building a long time ago. This up anymore. Like there's dog shit, puke, fucking blood on the floor. I mean, even ZXV is saying I was a gunt guard. Even ZXV left the building a long time ago. A long, long time ago. broken we're having to clean this up with our tongues it tastes terrible i don't know who can save her at this point they, they aren't even what can not, you even say they aren't even not sweeping it what up. can you even say what can you even say and that's 20 minutes into this eight and a half hour stream so he's already out of juice he's already out of they've got nothing left to say really ralph did heroin i mean you know 20 minutes, what is there even to say? What is there even to say? They're encouraging it. I see Adol Wolf going, oh, hey, man, I love you, buddy. No one's going, hey, dude, shut the stream down. Go, like, go to sleep. Take a nap, bro. You can't figure out how to start a stream. Every stream, the last three streams he started, starts with him doing this. Uh, we have to just sing on. Meanwhile, every stream that these faggots start starts with a fucking please reset your modem. You're being powered by Microsoft PowerPoint. Like, there is no difference. <laughs> there, there is no dichot. There is no darkness and light. There is no good and evil. There is just the same old faggotry. Using Ethan Ralph to justify every single sin that they have. He's attacking families. Well, look, on the last two hours of your shows, every single fucking night, it's been you attacking this wholesome family, going to a buffet, you freeze-framing on the kids and calling them losers. You're saying that they're going to grow up to be felons and shit. I mean, th this is the freeze-frame. 
They go in and call them losers and pathetic. Attacking families. Look, the fucking face of Seath as they watch this. Attacking families. Oh, Ethan Ralph is so evil. They're literally trying to call CPS on the fucking kids as well. Trying to get their audience to call CPS on this wholesome guy's family. But Ralph's attacking families. PPP's grandfather again. Worski's gone and spent the money on a Steam Deck. That's really going to imbue the content with the level of quality and skill that they've been hoping for, isn't it, Paypigs? He's gone and bought a Steam Deck to keep himself even further ingrained in his father's office. Money well spent. You know what? A better investment would have been a gun to blow your own brains out, Worski. What can I say? If you aren't terminally online and you only watch Kino Casino, Kino Casino streams twice a week for 12 hours. The two co-hosts are terminally online. And literally, their bodies betray that fact. One of them doesn't even move. The other one is a prisoner in his father's office. Terminally online. Worst event of all time? I, I want to say that one trumps that one. Ralph's event went surprisingly well for Ethan Ralph. For the A-logs, it was a lose. There was nothing that happened. Jesse left some court documents in a toilet. But one event, boxing event, went surprisingly badly for the person that we were all supposed to celebrate as a king. That's right, it's seven seconds in the ring, Andy Worski. Worski, by the way, admitted that he went on a fucking six-week bender after that fight where he got knocked out in seven seconds. Six-week bender, all culminating in sniffing coke on air again. But, you know... He will be remembered for seven seconds. He will be remembered for, I don't know, police finding this troon? This £600 troon in a Canadian apartment? Decomposing because no one's checked on him because no one gives a fuck? That's, that's the two headstones of these two men. Yeah, that's right. And and the second epitaph will read, not only six, seven seconds in the ring, but man who killed his son. Man who killed his son. His second epitaph will be man who splayed his anus on stream. So, you know, what, <laughs> what, what have we got, folks? Clutching at straws. Was, I think Mr. Wu Kang made this. This is amazing. One's a murderer, one's a pervert. Now, it would have been funnier had they have used Ralph's own noises. If he was truly that incredible, they could have used Ralph going, Aah! or some shit, while he was on his zanny fucking booze cocktail. Instead, they just lazily use a fucking two-second clip of Ralph looking sideways and overlay pig noises onto it. And to really sell it, they both guffaw with laughter about how great it is. It's garbage shit, folks. Play it again, please. No one gets it in the audience. No one gives a shit. No one get, They just keep saying 3 FPS PPP. You know, your, your crazy fake laughter, Worski, ain't selling this one. It's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> He's clapping. It's an Oscar-worthy moment. 
He's never seen anything as good as this. This truly is the high point, not only of his life, but of the show. You know who else is fake laughing, trying to sell the bit? Here he is, look. It's never been funnier than this. This is true comedy gold. I'm having the time of my life right over here. Watching this two second clip of Ralph overlaid with pig noises in the MGM ident. My God. It, it don't get better, folks. Here we yeah. Your audio is still shite, buddy. Please reset your modem. Having another talk down from his employer. From his boss. Your, your audio is still a little fucking tight. Hold on, let me try and fix it. Holy fuck. Don't worry. We'll go worry, into guys, I... I've seen that face many times. When I've come to work late. When I've come to work disheveled. When I've been on various benders, my boss has said, a little late there. Maybe keep that one in check. But let's, let's do that one again. This is an employee being reprimanded by his boss, live on air, like a bitch. Your, your audio is still a little fucking Hold on, let me try and fix it. Holy that's a verbal warning if ever I've seen one. PPP's about two seconds away from a final written, folks. A final written. <laughs> Just reset your modem. He needs to do that two weeks in rehab that you did, Worski. That two weeks in rehab that you did, remember, bro? When you came back after two weeks, said that you went to rehab and you were all cured and, and, and brilliant now. And you weren't going to snort coke on air. Maybe Ralph should do that fortnight in rehab that you did, that magic stay in rehab. Bro. We're looking good. Like, the guy is drenched in sweat. You can't even see his eyes. You will see that the yellow tint of his glasses now matches the yellow tint of his teeth and the yellow tint of his LA Lakers shirt. That truly is tough, but we're looking good now, guys. Meanwhile, his face betrays the fact that he murdered his own son. And nothing will do, nothing he does to guffaw with fake laughter will hide that fact. Right. I'm going to set the phone down while he reads these donos. I'm going to find something. By the way, by the way, he's had to just fucking shut off the video feed. That's felted. Worski's just shut off his video feed. He can't put up with this incompetence from his employee. You're not performing well, buddy. And this one-to-one -one ain't, ain't, ain't delivering any fucking hopes for the future. My wife, Claire, for $10. Tonight, boys. Jeez. Mad what cancer? Um, Murda for five. Ethan Uno Zaniesia Mucho Custamero. Gracias, Ray Figueria. Okay, that's good. I like that one. We got Mr. Rock here for ten dollars saying, I love Daddy Jim. Let's light one up for Andy Jr., shall we? Ralph is pretty entertaining at this point. Ralph's making it a photo finish. Like, honestly, it might happen tonight live. Like, if you went breaking news, Andy, Ralph's dad would go, oh, true. 
make sense. Um, R.I.P. Ralph, there it is, for $20. At this point, the only person who can save Ralph is Jesus. And he's going to stand before the Lord in judgment if he doesn't change his tune right. quick. Very, very true. Now, guys, I hate to bring this to you guys. Ralph Mania, one of the worst events. Even with a logs there, it was sort of like, uh, uh okay. Uh, they could save it. I mean, they tried. Let's, try. let's, let's run they down The a logs served Ralph work papers six times. They hid the court papers in a toilet. A Godfather 2 style. Oh, it was Godfather 2 style. Jesse pussy ass bitching it by leaving the court papers in a toilet. That was Godfather 2 style. What a cope. That's the biggest cope I've heard all week. It was Godfather 2 style, eh, Locking? Jesse leaving the court documents in a toilet like a bitch. Godfather 2. <laughs> By the way, I just want to say that leaving the thing in the toilet is Godfather 1, you pleb piece of shit. He knew nothing. He knew nothing. No fucking history of anything is... He knows nothing of film. He knows nothing of anything. It's just a fat slug eating himself to death. Godfather 2. Fuck, fucking hell. Lawless faggot. Uh, but here we go. This is Ralph being served by the sheriff's department. This is Kino. Uh, which is why he had to show up to court today. And he, part of the reason he's on a fucking bender... Let's just play this. This is really the highlight of Ralph Mania. We're going to show you two or three other highlights in major air quotations. Like, holy fuck. It's yeah. just... Bro, I had, what, I had, a, I had a six pack and a... Block. If it truly is, right, if it truly is the most damning drop on Ralph, then just play the clip. Just play it in full, and we can be the judges of that. You don't have to keep hyping up the nonsense. When even your own fa I mean, look at that. So he's like, Ugh! and he's just gone completely nuts. Looking like a monster pedophile. Looking like he shouldn't be near primary schools. But it's such a damning clip. Oh, Ethan Ralph. Half a bottle of wine. I drank one and a half beers and one glass of wine and went, Ashton, I'm sorry. I'm saving my booze for a better time. Like, I, when you go with Worski's, like, I'm gonna not drink. Something went wrong, okay? So, here we go, good guys. It went. I came in with my cowboy hat. I was really excited. I was fired up. He's wearing a cowboy hat because his hairline's completely abandoned him. That's tough. The event, within an hour, I was like, listen, I'm putting too much effort into this shit. They can't even put in the... I'm app. putting too much effort into my own job of A-logging Ralph. Like, once then didn't Whoa. show up, I nearly fucking cried. Yeah. There was no boogeyman, bros. They couldn't even get the boogeyman. Boogeyman is nearly 70 years old, and he eats worms for a living. Now, why couldn't they get these wrestlers? Oh, it's because you and... Todski were literally begging your audience to swap the fucking wrestlers on air. And try and cancel the event, because you're faggots. That's why they couldn't get the fucking boogeyman to show up. Even he turned up his nose at Ralph. Was like, I'll go eat worms somewhere else, brother. Anyway, here's Ralph getting you know, fucked. The wrestler who was on our show was there. He's like, it's like, oh, well, wow, you fucked it up. Yeah, he, yeah, he was there. Exactly, you didn't even know. I, I found out, like, wait, that's him? So he was trying to, and he goes, hey, can I call you? Here's my number. And I went, I don't keep keep my number online. And he goes, I just want to make sure we're cool. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, I, I actually don't care. Like, okay, let's move on. Anyway, here it is, guys. Ralph being served. Really funny stuff. Really funny stuff. This is guffaw with laughter hilarious. It's just well, laughing Ralph, at him. have a good day. It just laughs at him. You just have, yeah, that's have good. Where, where are they laughing at him, though? Where are they laughing at him, though? Where, where are they laughing at Ralph, though? I mean, is that a man laughing at Ralph? Like, I, I, I don't see it. He's laughing at Ralph, look. He's laughing at Ralph. 
Well, he's, he's laughing at Ralph. We can barely see it. Like, <laughs> you fucking retarded. What a take. They're laughing at Ralph. They're not laughing at Ralph. They're just doing their job because they've, they've been fucking hounded. Right, let's give him these papers. All oh, right, he's just taking them. Let's go. This is the rage pig seething. I'm just gonna play the clip. This is, you can see the rage pig seething. Have a good day. It just loves being served really funny stuff. The rage pig seething. They go have a good day, and walk out the building. The the rage pig seething. Is it just my own eyes or what? The officers even say thank you for interrupting him. Like, the officers even say thank you for interrupting Ralph. So where's the seethe? Where is the seethe there? It's not gun guarding to point out the facts. I think the reality is that Ralph's brain broke because you and your gay cabal have been making deep fakes of Ralph's wife and the kids. That's enough to drive any man to fucking zannies and drink, isn't it? I mean, that's the for real fucking thing there. That's truly fucked, by the way. But, you know, that, that's the moment he starts to break, look. And look at, look at Masterson laughing. Look at how Masterson's laughing and guffawing at Ralph. Like, Ralph, he's more perplexed than even Ralph. But, you know, look at how they're all laughing at Ralph. Look at how these officers are laughing at Ralph. Look at this face of laughter he's got. They literally leave the building in stitches, laughing. They don't. They don't. But they're going to tell you that you, things you're seeing with your own eyes aren't real. This was the highlight, by the way, for these two faggots. Look at Ralph seething. He's being hugged by his wife. Ralph's like, it's okay. It's same shit, different day. So, do you know, what, what is there in this, really? Look at his wife trying to comfort him. How appalling. Bear in mind they've been saying that Pansu's in this loveless marriage as he's trying to get out and she's in a cage or some shit. But no, look, a man being comforted by his wife after having law enforcement invade his event. This is, e oh, this is the end for Ethan Ralph at this point. Like, come on. Well, no, he's, he's having to explain to the owner what happened, and the owner's really understanding. He's not like, fuck you, bitch. He's already had the hug from his wife. He's just trying to compose himself, and he's going to the owner now, and he's saying, look, I'm sorry this happened. The owner's... Uh, props to this owner. This owner ain't heard no bell. This owner ain't phased by any of this shit, by any of these fake faggots serving court documents and making sex tapes of him and his wife. Like, the owner's like, look, you can stay here. I don't give a shit. Let's carry on with Ralph Romania. You know, the owner shakes his fucking hand. 
Thank you, sir. They don't even know what to A log. This is their magic clip, their highlight moment. They've got nothing to A log. Ralph, at one point in time, would have literally took a swing at those cops. I ain't heard no bell. I'll kill you and drink your blood. He'd have started chewing the court documents. When the owner came for him, he'd be like, fuck you. I'm the king. But Ralph didn't do that. Because Ralph is actually bizarrely, and I can say this now with absolute conviction, Ralph has evolved. Ralph has genuinely changed as a person. Whether that's because he's got two kids now. Whether that's because he's Ralph Unchained now. And he's not being poison-eared by gators and fagmencos and rants. But Ralph has genuinely evolved into something better than he used to be. For real. These two faggots haven't. He's worse than he ever was. And, he, and so is he. And so is he. What a devastating own of Ethan Ralph that was. Truly devastating. Look at how he raged and seethed and kicked up a storm of nonsense. No, none of that happened. He actually took it like a responsible adult would and apologised to the owner. He didn't have to apologise to the owner. The owner was chill. But he did a manly thing there. Like, for real, he, did, he genuinely behaved in a way that I didn't think Ralph would behave. Look at Dick Masterson, by the way, laughing his balls off. He hates Ralph, really, guys. We've just been saying for five minutes that that's exactly what he does. Look at Dick Masterson there, laughing his ass off. He's here truly as a secret A-log of Ralph's. You're like, the reality doesn't bear those fruits, guys. That never happened, by the way. That never happened, by the way. Ralph didn't say that, and they didn't say that. They hid the documents in a toilet. Godfather 2 style. <laughs> what a faggot. <laughs> Godfather 2 style. Learn... Oh, it genuinely does appall me, right? Being PPP used to sit there and talk about movies. And now I realise it was all a lie. This guy knows nothing. True basic bitch faggot. It was Godfather 1, you fucking fool. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. There were people in attendance at the event. When it ended, they walked out. Breaking news alert. They didn't stay there all year. When the event was over, they walked out. <laughs> the people that showed up for this event, when it was over, they left the building. Breaking news alert. Whoa. They left the event they left the venue when the event was over. Insane. Truly insane. Ralph felted yet again. Big 
Just the gang that helped the technical setup of Ralph's show was left. Cleaning up and putting their shit back in the box. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You know, when you all go and watch The Whale, I think it's out next week, but when you all go and watch The Whale, right, you better stay there for 12 hours afterwards. And you better make sure that all of the fucking cinema staff that fed you your popcorn and gave you your tickets, you better make sure that they're also walking out with you. Or else The Whale will be a truly shit film. A failure. That's a complete nonsense. And it was just that. No one cared. No one who you cared about watching wrestle, wrestle. Do you know who would have been there, by the way? Who, he was desperate for a VIP ticket. I was sent a VIP ticket to Ralph Mania and I politely declined. But he wanted one. He was on gunted, bended knee to do so. And there's audio of it. And he would have been there. Had he not have snaked Ralph, he would have absolutely been there, stood next to Beardson and Ali Kamal and all these other faggots. Big tech. He'd have been stood right next to them, clapping like a seal, pretending it was the greatest thing ever. Like, come on. Hypocrisy. I thought when he said, these people are in the show, I didn't think, wow, here's the list of people in the audience. PPP in that audio, by the way, says that all of his audience are faggots and he hates them. And it's all just business. And he doesn't really hate Ralph. Ralph's actually a pretty entertaining guy. And of course he'll work with Ralph. And even though there'll be some Kiwi artists against it, that's what's in the clip. He don't care. Because hating on Ralph is gay at this point. And that's in a clip from six, seven months ago. And they were all sharing calls with each other, with Keemstar involved, by the way. But there's no respect for the Slim Dong Bling Blong or Metica Masochist. Who gives a fuck? Wow. Well, <laughs> none of them wrestled. No, the fuck dick was in the audience. Like, okay, wow. Who gives a shit? Wow. Come to the uh, Alpha Mania where you can see Dick sitting in the audience. I don't know, it seemed to me that everyone who showed up, there was about 50-something people there, if not more. It seems to me that everyone that turned up and showed their face, they were pretty happy. They had smiles on their faces. They got what they paid for with that ticket. They got a wrestling event. They got Ethan Ralph. They got some Ethan Ralph Orbiters. They all seemed pretty happy to me. And even with the interruptions, it seemed fine. If you are a Ralph pay pick you got everything you wanted and more probably because it didn't end up with a, a drone strike a complete swatting it, it went surprisingly well uh, okay. let's just go to the next clip what do we want clip two Beardson. Okay. this is Beardson. So this was his big moment at ralph amania here's the highlight folks this is the highlights of ralph amania there we go that's the highlight A hobbit doing a dance. You know, what the fuck? That that was something they clipped out and spent five hours clipping out, by the way. Uh, a dancing fucking hobbit. That was, I mean, the guy was shorter than the fucking ring. Like, he couldn't by the way, Worski's 5'5". Five five. Worski was shorter than the ring. And we all saw it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Chaggett made an appearance. There wasn't. Now there was the highly publicized public shaming of Chaggett, um, which didn't happen because Chaggett is on meth now. Yep. So according to like Beardston and everybody who's there, Chaggett is like smoking meth. He's a total meth head now. Uh, and I guess Chaggett wishes he was doing meth instead. And then Ralph said that the, sh the shaming isn't going to happen because people didn't donate enough. So Ralph set like a, a five thousand dollar goal. So what is it, PPP? Like, in his own explanation there, he's just said that Chaggett's smoking meth, Chaggett's on meth. And then in his own explanation, he said Chaggett wishes he was smoking meth. Then in his own explanation, he then says, Ralph didn't get enough money. So what? which of those options is it, PPP? 
Which is those options? Doth it be? Meanwhile, not one week ago, they were demanding seven and a half grand to review the deep fake sex tape that Jesse's put together of Pantsu and the kids. Ralph was DDoSing Comfy while they were watching it the whole time. How can Ralph be DDoSing Comfy when we can see him like at this event not DDoSing Comfy? But Ralph was DDoSing Comfy this whole time. Ralph was DDoSing Comfy while they were watching. Ralph was literally looking at this ring, commentating over his own show. But Ralph was DDoSing Comfy, guys. The whole time. So, like, Even though every camera at this event was on Ralph. Ralph, get fucked, buddy. Like, he was DDoSing Comfy while we were watching it the whole time. He was DDoSing Comfy while we were watching it the whole time. Now, that is a galactic cope. It can't be because Comfy is absolutely shit. And it's a worse of video streaming platform than even Cozy is. Than even Odyssey is. Than even Bitchute is. No, it would have to be that Ralph is DDoSing it. It can't be that Comfy's broken as fuck. No. So, like, he spent, like, 500 on DDoSing us? So, like, five, five, 500 of that is gone. 1,200. Minus the drug. Maybe Ralph's DDoSing this slideshow right now. Maybe Ralph hasn't passed out in a zany induced coma. No. Ralph's DDoSing PPP's stream right now. That's why he's coming at you like a seething slideshow. It's all Ralph, guys. Ralph's the boogeyman. Why does this, why does all the stolen merchandise and merchandise? He lost like $800 on this fucking event. I mean, not a penny. I swear, he lost. He didn't Wait, make any money. No. Did you see how he corrected himself when he went stolen merchandise and he went missing merchandise? Because if he said stolen and committed to what he actually thought, about Mr. Morris stealing the merchandise. He'd piss off Mr. Morris. And he wouldn't get donos for his show. Minus the drugs, minus the party bus, minus this, minus all the stolen merchandise or the missing merchandise. Stolen merchandise. You said it first and your first answer was correct and that's the one we're going to take, Worski. It was stolen merchandise. Stolen merchandise. Not missing merchandise. Stolen merchandise. But we have to correct ourselves because we've got big whales in the chat. That will get pissed off if we start A-logging Mr. Morris and giving our full takes on Mr. Morris. Oh, it's tough. He lost like $800 on this fucking event. I mean, not a penny. I swear, he lost. He didn't Wait. make any money. He lost. Lost, lost, lost. Well, he actually did make quite a bit of money. I think he made 15 grand off this whole escapade. He sold out a full house of tickets. And people paid during the fucking show. So, I mean, Ralph made money, that's a fact. You lost money. Flying out to England on the... Kingstar gave, them, gave him 10 grand that he split with this fat faggot. Flights, the hotel, they had to pay for with their own money. The flight back, they had to pay for with their own money. All of the food, they had to pay for with their own money. All of the training and the gym stuff that he was lying about being within. 12 hours a day in the gym, guys. So how much money did you lose on that Keemstar event, Worski? I'm pretty sure it was a bigger hole in Ralph's $800, if that's what you're claiming. He's lost. He was raising money for his lawyer today. He had to put postpone because he has no lawyer. He's poor. I thought he was making like 800 a day. Ralph is poor. He's in his dad's office and has been for 10 years. And, and, and he's him. But Ralph is poor. Let's hate Ralph because he's poor and living in Mexico. It's tough, is it not? It's a real tough, tough world out there. And f if we just point at Ralph, all of our sins are absolved, aren't they? All of our sins are absolved. 
not not one of our crimes is recognised or taken on board as like a responsible thing that we need to take uh, responsibility for. We don't need to take responsibility for our own actions because Ethan Ralph has done something bad. The reality is that every stream that this Kino Casino puts out It's their very own pill stream every night. Because no one looks worse than PPP on stream. No one. Ethan Ralph, guys. Ethan Ralph. Bear in mind, they've just spent the first 20 minutes of their show talking about how they've been editing five hours each clips of Ralph that are so barnstormingly brilliant that it's going to resurrect their careers on the internet. And they've just said, we've got nothing. We're actually hack frauds that have nothing. The money he's getting is just a charity from Nick Fuentes' shoe. You watch him with a miracle. Oh, it really is like, it was a... I'm like, well, you know, I have no content for the show Friday. Like, let's just throw up a Hail Mary. Maybe Ralph will bless us. And it was like, oh, hallelujah. Ralph's going to make it rain money upon my head this Friday. Thank fucking God. Like, make it rain money upon his head? All this guy does is spend the money on fucking Uber Eats Grubhub deliveries. He's not even buying new clothes. He's not improving his internet. He's just spending it on fucking Grubhub. Gambling and Grubhub. Not a penny has been saved. Even this man, who's supposed to be saving all of the money. Because that's why he's still in his dad's office, guys. One day he'll get to Portugal. Actually, no. He's spending it on steroids. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on tracksuits. Gym memberships. And <clears throat> a Steam Deck. It is what it is. Like, bless his heart. Like, if it wasn't for Ralph, he may not have even been a Kino Casino this week. I'm being real. Like, and no one's stopping Ralph. him. Not Bimble, not Adol, not any of his viewers, oh. not Pansu. They're all, like, enabling him to continue this fucking destructive path that he's on. This destructive path where you kill your own son? This destructive path where you're snorting coke on air? This destructive path where you're trying to execute a man live on stream? Aim, aim, aim. This destructive path where you've grown at least 200 pounds since you've been A-logging Ralph? This destructive path where you're drenched in your own sweat? You're not even changing your clothes? your teeth have become so yellow and filled with holes that you can't even speak properly anymore? This destructive path where you've lost all of your hair? This destructive path, someone needs to stop enabling these two faggots. But it's so fucking funny. Anyway, let's finish this uh, clip here. What do we have here? Tag it, which is he's on a yeah. I'm gonna have to grab a drink, so bear with me.
perform at Ralphamania. He he was just wanted to smoke meth instead. That's the. I don't even state. blame him at this point. Meth would no. probably be more fun no. than Ralphamania, to be honest. At this point. It so the A logs. Jesse sent him a cake. It was what was it like? Pretty funny. The Happy best wedding, Mister and Mrs. Morris. With like a star of Dave. The Jew cake. Jesse took that shirt, burned it, and put the ashes into the cake. <laughs> Alf actually ate this cake. Him and Dalton Quadfelter ate this cake during the broadcast. And I pleaded with him not to eat the cake. I'm like, Ralph, don't eat the fucking cake. Like, who knows? He's lucky they didn't fucking lace it with laxatives or rat poison. So, or like, they're literally describing there a gay op where they've poisoned his food. They're poisoning Ralph's food because they're such great creative a locks that they're going to lace his food with ashes. This is so side-splittingly funny, by the way. Whatever the fuck. Thankfully, he only ate burnt bed shirt that Jesse got from Mr. Morris. That smelled like he cigarettes and cologne. By the way, this didn't even happen. Jesse was too much of a pussy to commit a crime. And poison Ralph's food, even with a burnt fed shirt. Didn't even happen. But they're going to pretend that it happened to give themselves any sort of win over Ralph Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mr. Morris wiped his ass with the fed shirt, so Ralph probably ate some of the poo particles from Mr. Oh. Morris' crack. But, you know, it's a little fucking tough. So that was Ralph Amanda. But it's okay now to... It's literally okay now to poison someone's food. That's okay now. Because it's Ethan Ralph, and that's okay. To even lie about it is okay. I mean, that's kind of fucked, isn't it? Let's poison the man's food. Except it didn't even happen. Because it was all bullshit kayfabe lies. But because it's Ethan Ralph, we can poison his food as a gay op. By the way, how things have changed. Now PPP loves all of Jesse's funny piss-poor antics. And we've got to forget that he was seething at the man when he came on his show dressed as a pickle. Now Jesse's the height of comedy. This is a book-broken troon, folks. Book-broken troon. They're really scraping the barrel now. Corinne's footage. I can't wait. Well, that's what was promised, wasn't it? No one was expecting The Rock to be there or Hulk Hogan. No one was expecting The Undertaker to walk in. Like, everyone knew it was just going to be some indie wrestlers and Ralph putting this event together. It was a miracle it even happened. AW, TNA, not even Ring of Honor. And then one of the fucking legitimately female like wrestlers, string. she's like... She's like shitting on the fucking on, on the event when I was at an event tonight where someone was yelling "rape me" and then she's like shitting on the whole event. Ralph had a mental breakdown. Well, they start, <laughs> on Twitter, which we're not even gonna cover, but they started a rape chant, like, and then they also at one point chanted for Hitler. So, oh, and Bill Cosby. And Bill Cosby. Ollie Jamal was actually. The Sounds like that chant was pretty based from Ralph's audience there. It sounds like he wasn't cooking to the man or doing any sort of optics cuckoldry like these two faggots did. It sounds like Ralph's audience was in full show and they ain't heard no bell. But we ain't going to cover that here because it actually shows Ralph to not have sold out his audience and his own power of truth like these two have. 
Oh, alas, we're not going to show that one here. So we're going to show Corinne's footage. We can't show any of his address. No, no. What pussy ass bitches. Let's move on. Let's, move on. Let's sweep it up. Bling blong ding dong for 50. Bling blong ding dong. If you ever wanted proof that they're fake donos, bling blong ding dong. Let's go. Bling blong ding dong. Tune in tonight at 11 p.m. to the Ralph retort for the highly anticipated beating of my fucking wife's suicide suit. Wow. What a fucking. Uh... Wow, let's, let's laugh at uh, Ethan Ralph's wife's hypothetical suicide stream. Bear in mind, PPP led this show with. He's coming after my grandfather and my family. But it's okay when these do it. It's okay when they laugh at Ethan Ralph's wife's suicide. Like, it's one rule for one. Domestic violence is funny, guys, by the way. That's what they're saying here and endorsing. So how are they any different from Ralph? How are they any different? That's fucked. His hairline's gone all the way back, folks. It's just one big forehead and one strand of hair. Holding it all together. That's real tough. That's really fucking tough. He's wiping the sweat from his face. How they left them in the toilet. How this poison cake actually wasn't even sent to Ralph because it was just a gay op. But yeah, it was sides. He can't even c contain how much he despises this bit. But Worski thinks that Jesse's the best thing since sliced bread. And he has to put up with it now because he's just an employee. He's just a butt broken bitch. It's actually really funny, guys. It's uh, Jesse. It's really funny. We're gonna go. Now, and you people thought the ashes, his mom's ashes, were in here, but thank God they weren't, because that would actually be fucking too far. His mom's ashes. Like they were trying to contrive a gay op where Ralph's mom's ashes ashes were in the cake, and they were all clapping along like seals, wanting that to happen, wanting Ralph to eat his mom's ashes. That's truly fucked, ladies and gentlemen. Truly. That, that genuinely is really fucked up. But that's the level that these gay ops are getting now. They're all plotting and planning their next win on Ralph. Instead of just laughing at the man getting drunk. They're trying to put Ralph's mum's ashes in a cake for him to unknowingly eat. So they can laugh and clap about it. That's fucked. And I'm going to set a challenge. Because one rule for thee. Why don't we put PPP's grandfather's ashes in a cake? In a Grubhub delivery? And let the fat whale eat his grandfather's ashes? That would be side-splittingly funny, won't it?
I might die with laughter on that one. So, PPP's grandfather, let's put you in a cake, bro. Let's get you eaten by your grandson, bro. It's fucking disgraceful. But uh, because it's Ethan Ralph, anything goes. PPP's grandfather is fair game, I guess. <laughs> really funny. Really funny. Really funny. On the day of the venture, that's actually pretty funny. Um, I don't know if that's illegal to do, but I don't think so. Sure, yeah. Oh. Not poison. No, I mean, uh, uh, the Alex of all things, like 13 minutes long. Do we even. Oh, man, we can all play the whole thing. I don't know. Listen, here's the punchline Ali Jamal is supporting Bill Cosby and says that he's based. I think right, let's Bear in mind, back in the day, PPP did a stream on Bill Cosby saying that he was based and all of the victims are liars. Bill Cosby did nothing wrong. That's the stream that he did. But now it's a crime to say that Bill Cosby is based. He also did a stream? Remember when that black... Baseball player, basketball player died in that helicopter crash. What was he called? Can someone just remind me what that black base uh, thing he was called? He died in a helicopter crash. Kobe Bryant. Yes, Kobe Bryant. He did a stream laughing at Kobe Bryant's death literally minutes after it was announced. Gloating like a supervillain minutes after it was announced. But but now it's now it's now that ain't now that ain't that's faux pas. We can't do this. Ali content. Let's go into um wedding photos folder. Let's go. Okay, we have the wedding photos. We have like a few. I only I only selected a few of these photos. Look at this fat fucking pig. Look at this fat fucking pig. That's a bit fucking rich, bro. That's a bit fucking rich, bro. Look at this fat fucking pig. Like, Ralph is actually less than one, less than... You could fit two, three Ralphs in PPP and not even be touching the sides. Look at this fat fucking pig. Come on. Look at him. His ill-fitted red shirt, bro. His ill-fitted yellow shirt, bro? Covered in sweat? He didn't even comb his own hair for his show. Didn't even comb his own hair. Buddy, didn't even comb his own hair. Like, look at his man, like, just poking out of his red shirt. Like, buddy. Buddy, go to the next photo. Oh, no. So in this one, look at his face. I mean, look, I mean... This is the level we're at. They're A-logging wedding photographs. They're A-logging wedding photographs and pretending that they're kings. Like her arms are around Ralph. Can Snacks get her leathery claws around your fucking body mass PPP? Can Snacks do that one? I'd like to see that one filmed on camera. Can those lathery talons fucking wrap around your waist, bro? Like, look at him. Like, look at him here. This is so This is this man's wedding day. Oh, poor Ralph. Uh, what else do we have here? Well, now we've got... All right, here we go. So this is, this is Ralph's wedding ring. It's so cheap. They're so poor. They're so cheap. They're so poor. That's quite a nice wedding ring. That's quite a nice bit of bling there on Ralph's paw. But they're so cheap and so poor. Meanwhile, he can't even fucking stream properly. He's like a slideshow. And he's literally streaming from his dad's office because he can't afford rent. They can't afford new red wedding ring. No. So Ralph just uses Papa's clock ring. What? He uses a family heirloom ring? 
Oh, how dare he? How dare he use a family heirloom ring that has more meaning to it? Like, come on. Come on. His finger is rotten. What? His finger is all fucked up and rotten. It's right there. It's right there. Like it's, right. it's like all fucked up and rotten. Like That's a knuckle, bro. Look. My finger is all fucked up and rotten. It's my knuckle. Look. His finger is septic from the fucking cheap alloy. His finger is septic. I mean, look. Look at this hand. Let's A-log this hand. Look at this piece of crap so ring he got. He went to one of those... It's like out of a bubblegum machine. I was about to say, is that like It's a out of a bubblegum machine. Not even a mall. He's out of plaza. And he went to the bubblegum bubble where you fucking pay a toonie. If you're Canadian, a toonie. You roll that in yeah. two dollars. And he fucking... That's what this is. At, at the most. To be fair, generous, you're generous as he, he went to like not even a real jewelry store, it's one of those like kiosks in the middle of the mall, and it's where you would buy your your high school girlfriend the ring, you know, for prom or whatever, no, like it's not yeah, even I like, know, I know. there's not even, oh my god, look at this, oh it looks god. like tin foil. What's there to even say about this? What is there to even say about this? Okay. Let me demonstrate this. Okay. Uh, okay. This might dox my location, but... Diamond Store, London. Engagement ring. It's... One thousand six hundred and fifty-two pounds. It's half the price. Yeah, it looks like a cheap dime store ring. It's come out of a slot machine. It's all sparkly and shit. You know, like, come on, come on. What about this one? This is for Gator, by the way. <laughs> this is the. I wanted to just get this one in. Purely because Gator's been coping on his Twitter about how the the child waifu he's pointing at the murals of at anime conventions when he's dressed as Jim when he's gym walking, how that child is three thousand years old and how dare Godwinson call him a paedophile for pointing at a picture of a child and saying he masturbates to it? How dare Godwinson do that? How dare he? How dare he? How dare he? Because that that person that he's pointing to is 3,000 years old, is the Gator defense. She's just 3,000 years old, bros. 3,000 years old. She's 3,000 years old, guys. 3,000 years old. If it looks like a child, if it's drawn to look like a child, Gator, and if what's getting you off is the fact that it looks like a child, that means you're a pedophile. And no matter what copes you give, 3,000 years old, that's still a child, bro. Even if it may be 3,000 years old in your own autistic mind. 3,000 years old?
Hang on, I, I wanted to just play. Amazing. Uh, what a wedding, guys. Uh, you know, I'm sure this, this wedding will last for a wedding it was. Let's go into Mr. Moore. Crunch up tinfoil. Um, oh. so we're actually not gonna show what I'm trying to illustrate there the is that all jewelry looks cheap as fuck in a picture. It's designed to be that way. It's when it's actually in your hand and, and being looked at in person that you can see the quality of the thing, the hallmarks of the thing, how the diamond is cut. But these two faggots wouldn't realize. Because they're retarded. Yeah. We're going to show um, Mr. Morris pointing out, out about, holy shit, Why it's like you? all fucked up. Can you even pause? Yeah, okay, whatever. You can just read it. Okay. I'm using a new browser because Opera has an artist tag. Thing. I mean, this is literally a postage stamp. You know, when I zoom in, it just goes blurry. He can't even fucking read it. He's zooming into his own fucking fa His face is zooming into his screen. He's squinting as he reads this, but this is the damning drop from Mr. Morris that's going to bury Ralph, that's going to put him six feet under. The postage stamp screenshot. Do, despite offering... Yeah, yeah, I'll read it. Uh, one thing I'm glad I, I didn't do despite offering, catch up a certain someone's only CP month in arrears for thousands. That wasn't Her enough. Credit card, so. Go so, ahead, uh, yeah. Uh, if that wasn't enough, this person and their lovely spouse left themselves a bill for greater than $8,000. Three chasms. This is truly painful. Not only is it hard to read because it's so small, but when you've got Worski trying to read it, a man who can't even read his own name, that's why this is so fucking painful, ladies and gentlemen. Ralph did this! Ralph did this at some point in his life. Ralph today is doing this. Ralph is gonna die this time. It's over. If there really was a pill stream too, you wouldn't need to do all this gay shit. You could just play the pill stream. Literally, you could just play that pill stream. Why, why are we going through this charade of nonsense? That they owe eight thousand dollars to a landlord who's trying to claim. And this Ralph like, owes money to Ralph's someone. Life. And then not only that, but he's having to pay child support. He doesn't get to see his son ever. And, and well, he doesn't get to see his son ever because he murdered him. When was the last time you went to the grave, Worski? Hmm. It's a bit rich that he's talking about someone seeing his son. When he literally killed his own offspring. And he'll never have kids. Like ever. You know, his family is getting dunked on. Like his family photos by Mr. Morris. Like, whoa. Like, whoa, buddy. Mr. Morris is playing Smasher Pass games with Ralph's fucking cousin Rhonda. Like, <laughs> Ralph's cousin Rhonda is... That's really funny. Ralph's cousin Rhonda ain't in this game. She's a civilian. But it's all right when someone plays smash or pass with Ralph's family members. It's starting to look like PPP's grandfather really is fair game at this point, doesn't it? Really is fair game. Smash or pass on PPP's relatives. Because it's funny when Mr. Morris is doing it because he hates Ralph. So let's smash or pass on PPP's grandmother. You smash or pass by the legions Holy. on Twitter. Uh, okay, we got... Yeah, this is him continuing the story. Smash or pass on Melanie. All that. Yeah. Uh, and then there's another tweet. We're just trying to get uh, to the front. Operating the store. Yeah, folks. All right. 
And then, oh. okay, yeah, the yeah, house. The pads yeah, I had stuff. a lean on it. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Pads do come home. This uh, makes me laugh, though. Like, it, this, this is pretty good. Pansu goes, I would agree, but the matter is way beyond personal grudges. He is selling, th by the way, this is obvious for Ralph, but he is selling thousands of dollars of stolen property. It's obviously Ralph. Pansu clearly doesn't have a problem with her own father being involved in a gay op where her own father, let's not let that be forgotten. Her own father is in like this Discord Twitter cabal where they're planning a sex tape of Pansu in deep fakes. Pansu and the kids. Her own father. Pansu clearly hasn't got a problem. This is Ralph doing this. Ralph is uh, saying that Pansu has a problem with this. On, on Pansu's own Twitter that she's tweeting from. No, this this has to be Ralph, right? Like, come on. Take my address online, forcing our family to move. I can't trust someone like that around my child. This guy's just like, you think he would abuse the child? That's different, obviously, but most people eventually reconcile with family they've fallen out with. Yeah. A child's relationship with their grandparents. W would you reconcile with a parent? that was involved in a deep fake sex tape that they were trying to promote and they were grifting money for. Would you reconcile with your parent who did that? Would you reconcile with a parent who was waging war on your grandkid? Your innocent grandkid? Like, would you reconcile with that parent? Would you reconcile with a Mr. Vickers or a Mr. Morris? Because I certainly fucking wouldn't. These people are real pieces of shit. Real white trash pieces of shit. They're all far worse than Ralph. Far, far worse than Ralph. You wouldn't reconcile with these people. There's no way back. Parents is special. Would you regret it later in life? And, and the guy's just pointing out the reality of the situation, but Ralph comes in and he's like, I don't give a fuck. You're obviously bad faith, this, that, and the other. Like, it's just like wild. But uh, let's go into this fucking pill stream. Oh. And let's not forget that at the end of the that pill stream, Ralph goes directly into camera and says, look, I'm never going to like this Mr. Morris. But if he's willing to just give me the money back that he stole from me, then I'm willing to keep things neutral and allow him to see the fucking granddaughter. That's literally what he says. And that takes a lot from someone like Ethan Ralph, who's for years waged war on people, held grudges. The fact that he was able to say that says it all, shows how he's evolved. But, you know, let's just deny reality. He did. Ralph off offered an olive branch for really did. Yeah, he, he genuinely did. Like at the end of that stream, the one just before he was going to court, he says, look, I would have been neutral about this. I, I'm never going to like the guy. I ain't never going to like Mr. Morris and what he did. But as long as he gives me my money back and takes back what, what he stole from me, I, I, I'm willing to be neutral on the matter. And he can see, I mean, that's what, exactly what happened. Fucking hell. <laughs> Any dono name that's not Slim Dong Bling Blong is beyond Worski's comprehension. Ralph to auction the West Memphis Gun Shack. I'll buy it for 40k. 
And then he puts the address. He doesn't even own it. He doesn't own it, no. We got the, the, uh, uh, the Law of the Universe for $20. Saying Ralph Amania sucks. By the way, I remember a rule of the game. When, when someone puts someone's address in, even when it was your fucking worst enemy, you'd ban that person from the chat. Because they were doxing someone. They were posting an address. It didn't just get laughed at. You didn't just encourage them to keep going. There was a rule of the game. Whereas you were posting doctors or people's addresses, you'd be swept. Because you'd crossed a line. You shouldn't be allowed to post someone... It, I mean, it's all fun and games. But the moment you're posting addresses of people... You're allowing them to become a target of swattings and some crazy autist in a Discord that wants to drink their blood. But it's okay, because it's Ralph. We can post the address, laugh about it, and read their donos. But it was a W for Ralph and the gun guards. But every W, no matter how minor... You better believe that if one of these fucking faggot pay pigs had posted Jim's address, they'd be swept immediately and Worski wouldn't read their donation. I know. Because I've done it before. <laughs> Not Daddy Jim! No! They're an hour in, by the way. It's taken them an hour to get to their headline of the show, Pillstream 2. If it truly was the groundbreaking event that they've waited 18 months for, another fucking Pillstream, Ralph's going to die this time. It wouldn't have taken an hour of lead-in and bullshit clips that they tried to hypersell to just go ahead with the show. But we're an hour in and we're finally getting to the meat and tapes of this stream. I might have time at the end, but I am going to drop DMs where PPP says, way, way before Ralph fucking got doxxed living in Mexico. This is 2020 PPP, where he talks about how he wants to be a cult leader. He wants to garner his audience to have enough to grift off of so he can live in Mexico like a king. His words. His dream was to live in Mexico and literally live like Ralph is today. And, you know, you're saying, oh, this isn't real. He doesn't. It's, it's real. I'm seeing it right now. It's literally in front of my face right now. But uh, we're going to persevere with this stream because I wanted to get into how they're covering this pe pill stream. I wanted to highlight all of the fucking hypocrisy, which is what we're doing here. If you've not fucking got it yet, before we drop the bomb. His last bow. Of the glory of Mexican dairy products. Mexico. Specifically, Mexican milk. <laughs> Mexico milk. Alright, let's play it, Andy. There we go. Also, this is a latte out of my espresso machine that's... Uh... Pants he bought me for Christmas. Kind of like a starter espresso machine, but it had like the best ratings. Even better. Look, he's shooting heroin. He's doing meth. He's smoking a crack pipe. That's what they led this with. And, uh... I mean... Wh where's the heroin being injected into his veins? Here, live on stream. Where's this crazy pill stream moment? I don't see it, folks. I, I don't see it. So like the super high dollar ones. I'm going to hide the screenshot because I don't want to give it away. So bear with me. I have the greatest espresso machine that money can buy. Now, there were more 
expensive ones. Trust me, I have the best reviewed coffee <laughs> that money can buy. It's Mexican made. It's like, oh, Mexican who the fuck made. do you think you're fooling? <laughs> I have a Mexican made coffee maker, a long slack. Suck on this. Like, I mean, the same thing. Like, really? And he, like, he always does this. He goes, I got this cigar. Like, look at me, I'm living the life. You search up a cigar, it's like $12. One. Like, Whoa. No. <laughs> like, $12 like, cigar? Like, like, like this like, piece of shit, like, fucking $80 espresso machine that Pansu got him with fucking Harry's credit card, and he just thinks he's winning. I bet you have but the fucking toss What kind of nitpicking here? Yeah, I know. It's We're kind of nitpicking here. That's an understatement. That's a real understatement. We're just kind of nitpicking here. There's a guy holding a cup of milk. Meanwhile, he's putting whatever down his fucking pie hole. And what the fuck is that? That's like a robotic big gulp the guy's got. Boogie had like a stainless steel big gulp. This guy's got like a robotic big gulp that he's pulling down his fucking face. What is that container? Meanwhile, they're mocking Ralph for holding a cup of water, a uh, cup of milk. What the fuck is that? You're is that gravy? Is that KFC gravy in a fucking big gulp container you've got there, bro? The hypocrisy on show. That literally is has the brownish hue of gravy. I bet you have the funniest toss. I'm kind of nitpicking here. Yeah, I know. It's funny though. But Chug the gravy, bro. Chug the fucking gravy. Fuck yeah! Pig Clips used to say, Adam, you're raising the Gunt 2.0. You don't realize it yet, but he is worse than Ralph. And he's the Gunt 2.0. Pig Clips used to tell me that. And I used to call her a fat whale who needed to die. I used to say, man the harpoons, lads. We need to stop Beluga Lee from being the cancer of the internet. But, and it really does fucking hurt. I don't think I've ever said this. <laughs> this is hurting my, my mouth to make this sound. But, T-Clips was... <clears throat> T-Clips was right. <coughs> T... <coughs> I'm dying. T-Clips was right. She was right. She was right. <laughs> she was right. Meanwhile, he's gone off to chug that gravy. He's gone off camera to chug gravy. He had a sip of it, now he wants more. He's just had his little chaser, now he wants the full fucking container. Living like a king there, PPP. Putting your KFC gravy tubs in a fucking stainless steel big gulp. Like a fat whale. Like a pig. Like a snake. Genuinely worse than Ralph. Coffee. Oh, like, okay, like, okay, we're Paradise. at the point. Now, by the way, Ashton turned off his camera for a bit just to see if the audio, because it only clips sometimes, but it's noticeable. But Ashton, you're there, right? Um, we'll figure it out. But yeah, we have now Ralph Boy. Like, Wolski turned off his camera because he, he can't put up with this incompetence from his employee. Holy shit. That's tough. Mexico? Well, you like coffee, huh? You know they, they ship Mexican coffee over the fucking border, you retard? Is he insane? Like, he get Colombian coffee here, like beans and shit. He's like, what? Is, is this rare? Is this rare now? Thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna move. They're A-logging the coffee, folks. A, a 
They're a logging the coffee. <laughs> there, there is no low to which we won't stoop, ladies and gentlemen. We're a logging the coffee beans now. It's beyond cope, guys. This is crazy. Slim Dong Bling Blong says that the coffee is evil and Ralph is gonna die. Wait, I didn't see this part. Hang on. They have milk, milk, but a log in the beans, folks. Are we back? We're back. You've not missed anything. They're just they're just this now. But I have something lined up for this segment, so... This is their filler segment, where they're literally A-logging the beans. This isn't what I wanted, but Ralph's just DM'd me, and he thinks that this is worthy of attention. What could it be? What could this be? What's Ralph got? What's Ralph DMing there? Looks to be some pretty compromising DMs. But, um, see what Ralph's got. It's stuff from the genius anus. It's the I'm a journalist investigating Ralph work. And we've got all the DMs here. What am I seeing here? It's Gator snaking Ralph. Ralph got angry about Jim being on my show and shaking pill bottles. Told me he wasn't going to have me on air anymore because he was so mad about it. And so I told him to quit. Then he got his head caved in at that Portugal event and tried to walk it back. I said no dice. I bet you said no dice, Gator. <laughs> no dice from Gator. Then he started talking shit and had a meltdown when I corrected him. That's not how it went down, bro. It's Gator. Gator. He then threatened to dox me, so I went nuclear on him. How, how much of a king he talks like. And started airing out dirty laundry. It's best to get away from him sooner rather than later. That's rich coming from you, Gator. Just ghost him. Don't tell him you're leaving. Ralph only cares about the internet, so you're off on the internet for a what time you forget about you. If you give any sort of indication that you're distancing from him, he will spurg out. Sedan did it right. Just up and leave. Go dark for a while. What a snake. What a snake. What a fucking snake, folks. Whoa.
Who wants to see? PPP's hypocrisy. Laid bare. Ralph 2.0 himself, ladies and gentlemen, in his own words. In his own words. <clears throat> I'm dropping it tonight, folks. His last bow. This is merely a sample. But I just wanted to show you how this comes from 2021. There's so many options. Personally, I'm thinking Doomsday Cult, where the world is ending in 2024, and then I run off to Mexico with the donations, days before the prophecy is fulfilled. And that was a long, long time before Ralph was confirmed as being in Mexico. What else does Adam have? It's true, boys. It's over. I can't wait to sell every fan who pay-pigged me their info to the feds also. I can't wait. That's the real PPP. Ladies and gentlemen, the real man himself, Ralph 2.0. There's so many options. Personally, I'm thinking Doomsday Cult, where the world is ending in 2024, and then I run off to Mexico with the donations days before the prophecy is fulfilled. It's true, boys. It's over. I can't wait to sell every fan who's pay-pigged me, who pay-pigged me's info to the feds also. It's true, boys. The real PPP. People are saying that's fake. That's fake. That's one of many that I've personally screen capped from a DM group that he's still in with me, Persip, Brian, Squire, and Blackface Kermit. He's still in this group. He has been the whole time. There's so many options. Personally, I'm thinking Doomsday Cult. World is ending in 2024. I run off to Mexico with the donations. It's over. I can't wait to sell every fan who's pay pig me's info to the feds also. We're all still in that DM group. But let's unpick the hypocrisy, shall we? Persip says, in hindsight, that should have been a red flag. You think, buddy? You think? In hindsight, that should have been a red flag. Yeah. Yeah. For real. After all of the, um, that power chat shit? Like, in hindsight, that should have been a, a red flag. Uh, 
pasteurized at a much higher degree, and so it can just sit on the shelf. And actually, the higher quality brands of that taste just as good, really. The milk is a little different. So, the milk in Mexico, Andy, don't actually refrigerate it. They just leave it on the shelf in, like, the room temperature. They leave it in the fucking sun to fucking die. It's fucking bad. What? If that was happening, that milk would be cheese and would not be able to be drank by a human being. You couldn't drink that in a glass like Ralph has just done. Literally. If that was truly what was happening, you wouldn't be able to do that, PPP. It's fucking Mexico. Pasteurize it, I guess, to kill any chance of... But this is the shit that Ralph's bragging about. But Mexico, we don't even have to fucking... Refrigerate our milk. We're winning. Like, whoa. Ew, imagine you warm, sitting in a humidity, fucking milk. In oh. Mexico. Oh, it's, it's hot. It's outside more in the market in the sun. Oh. The they're a logging Ralph's milk. Like I mean, come on. If there truly was a Pillstream 2.0 that you could stop the presses over, you wouldn't be a logging oh, milk. Man. And coffee beans. It's really good. Unless you go to Costco, then you can get the real milk at special places like Costco. Like, I love how in Ralph's universe, Costco is like the pinnacle of yeah. consumer goods. Like the greatest shit ever. Holy fuck. People want context for the, uh, for the DMs. I'll give you context. I'll give you exact context. Andy is crying like a bitch. Andy is crying like a bitch. August. Mr. Vickers needs to pay Pig $500 minimum. God damn, Vickers don't like you, PPP. Time to cook that faggot on KC. Diary read in time. All right, I'm home now. Time to catch up on this shit. Vickers is just trying to create distance between me and him. But nice try shit-stirring, Bry. Vickers is retarded for typing this up, though. That was when he was sweeping away the Vickers diary shit. Because Vickers needs to pay him $500 minimum. But let's persevere. We're all still in the DM group, by the way, with PPP. PPP hasn't left the DM group. He's been there the whole time. The whole fucking time. And he's crying like a bitch. What about this one? Grifter Rams making all the money for Grifter PPP. The Golden Age. Gum road up to 9.20 a month, boys. Soon the Tesla will be mine. Soon the Tesla will be mine. This was their epic clip. They spent five hours editing and they have no commentary for it. No commentary. Epic pill stream of Ralph's life. No commentary at all. Like zero. Truly pathetic, isn't it? I know about American. Wait, wait, hold on, Ollie. Hold on, wait, wait, Ollie. 
have a Make a wish foundation, but like they really is. cancer kids like rich. Skip it. Skip it to one minute till the end. Skip it. Skip it till one minute before the end. This was our epic pill stream that we had so much content for. Skip it to one minute before the end, please. So let me ask you this, total price for the party I want to throw there, what would it cost? Can Godwinson explain the insanely, I'm sorry VXV, ZXV, whatever the fuck your name is. PPP raped the grimmest joke that no one likes but pay pigs supposedly donate. I don't know. I don't know. I genuinely do not know, ZXV. That's a mystery to me. That's a genuine mystery to me. I don't know why they even have pay pigs, for one. And I don't understand anything beyond this shit, I'm afraid. Bling blong, bling bloom for $5 says... There's no explanation for this. All I can do is apologize. I am sorry, genuinely. I am sorry for, uh, I was going to save this one. I was really going to save this one for the end, but. Do people just want to see me drop the DMs? Do people just want me? One if you do, two if you don't. Is that what the audience wants to see? Or should I persevere with pill stream two? His last bow. <laughs> Andy currently trying to give me shit for exposing Jesse's gay up about his brother. Andy is such a faggot. Currently sucking fag Menko off for clout in the gutter. I want Brian to just felt fag Menko. Andy is such a faggot. I want Brian to fight my battles for me. I want Brian to just felt Fagmenko. Andy currently giving me shit for exposing Jesse's gay op about his brother. Andy is such a faggot. Currently sucking Fagmenko off for clout in the gutter. I want Brian to just felt Fagmenko. Desperate appeals to Brian. Do you want more? The crowd is saying slit his throat. I have a vision for this one and the throat slitting doesn't quite happen yet. Slim Tong Bling Blong. Now they're mocking Ralph's hairline. That's the context for this part. Meanwhile, PPP has no hair left. And he's mocking Ralph's coke addiction. Meanwhile, he is a coke fiend himself. So that's where we are at this point. So, the pill stream was so exciting, right, that they've gone back to, to no commentary at all. They had more commentary on the coffee beans. On the milk. But the 
goodness, exciting commentary from these two kings of the sector on a Pillstream epic moment. They spent five hours editing and preparing the clips and writing their script for this one. Ralph turns his cam off for three minutes. Just like PPP's just done. Just like PPP's just done. I guess Jesse and Surfer did a show together. But yeah, for sure. Jesse makes 120k a month. Jesse waited too long to do the snake tour. Leo Pirate has returned to debate Mormon Shaggy, I guess. What's even the point of all of them going gun guard? Do they think they'll make money? That's right, Council of Evil. He was watching everything the whole time. Every single time that you streamed anything, he was there watching, seething about it. Because Gahul did a video on snacks. And Godwinson, you need to come back and scorch earth the Council of Evil for me and not cover the diary because I can't do this on the show because it will expose my own flaws. But it's not all wins against Ralph, is it? Because in the dark, you're crying every time that Ralph does a stream. His last bow, folks. Ralph's felting us on sunrise, boys. Ralph's got me, boys. Not being able to run OBS is more embarrassing than anything in Ralph's life. You highlighted his flaw there. He was dabbing on me for OBS. Now he's talking about Jesse's dead brother. I wanted to cool your brother off in hell with my hands. With my piss. Ralph is so based. Ralph is so based when he goes at Jesse's brother. I want to cool your brother off in hell with my hands, with my piss, I should say. We can't keep him down. Press P to piss on Jesse's brother. Press P to piss on Jesse's brother. But he loves Jesse now. He always loved Jesse. Jesse's a friend of the show. Ralph is based, according to PPP. So based. Ralph is, Ralph is so based. Ralph's felting us again on the sunrise. The real PPP, ladies and gentlemen. But Ralph turned off his camera for three minutes. This nigga's got the talk boy. Alright, you know what? Talk boy. Those things are worth like. I don't like Crowder, but. Nice touch on the talk boy. $5,000 now. It's an expensive gag. Um, so, didn't want to have. The fact that PPP is actually a fan of Ralph and he endorses when Ralph goes at Jesse, that don't make PPP look bad. That actually makes PPP look base because that's the real PPP. The real PPP absolutely would be clapping along when Ralph is saying. I wanted to cool your brother off in hell with my piss. The real PPP is saying Ralph is so based constantly. The real PPP is actually saying that Ralph is putting on a more entertaining show than this bullshit that he's doing with Worski. That's the real PPP. But alas, it's all fun and games and the Kino Casino is on top of the world. And well, here we are, eh, Logan Ralph. Ralph, Ralph. Ralph is evil. Chugging the gravy. Chugging the KFC gravy yet again. Now Ralph is on his phone. Meanwhile, Worski's on his Steam Deck throughout large portions of this eight and a half hour show. 
Worski's probably got his Steam Deck in front of him right there and then. And this guy's like ordering his Grubhub delivery, 10th of the day. Oh my God, Ralph's on his phone. Stop the presses. Stop the fucking presses, folks. Guy looks at his phone. Sometimes we in the past have said it's going to be a long walk back for PPP. We've given many outs, many outs, and he knows it. He knows that there was a long walk. And that's why he never left the group DM chat. That's why he was still one of us, really. Because he knows I would give him the absolute opportunity make, to make that long walk back along the yellow brick road. He knows that I'd have done my absolute best to sweep it up for him. He knows that now he's truly crossed the line. He knows that now the gloves well and truly are off. And the Kino Dogme 2007 is not something that he will be allowed to share and be a part of going forward, I'm afraid. You are excluded. You are out. There is no walk back, my friend. And to prove it, To prove it, folks. To prove it. Fucking useless. Josh should beg on his knees for Persip to be the mod and pay him bigly. What the fuck is happening, boys? A Catboy sub for him? Do I just build Josh's website for him now? Because don't forget that the Kiwi Farms and all of your posts, people, on that forum, you owe it all to PPP because he sets the content. It ain't Josh, it's PPP. <laughs> we don't co-sign going after these people IRL. We don't co-sign that. No, it's just uh, me and Worski were sending Jesse to Ralph's house to do reports during the festival. We're sending, we're sending Jesse, our roving reporter, to harass Ralph and his family. Josh basically communic excommunicated both of you guys for not worshipping the ground Faith walked on. He's talking to Persip and Squire in this exchange. And bowing to the anus man. Persip's avatar for next week, truly. Fuck you, Josh. Apologize. I hope Melty kills themselves. Fuck you, Melty. He's even screen capped Josh. Ethan Ralph, convicted sex offender, is now a legally true statement. Cope. Because <laughs> he loves Ralph. Genuinely, he wants to be Ralph. We've covered the gym walkers. The gym impersonators. We've even covered the Goldwinson impersonators. But there's one impersonator to Ralph that really does need true acknowledgement. And that impersonator is PPP. There's no bigger fan than Ralph. Not even Shannon Gaines was a bigger fan of Ralph than PPP. No long walk back, I'm afraid. There is no walk back. I wash my hands of you. I'm afraid that no amount of throwing Worski under the bus at this point is going to absolve you of your crimes. Because you still committed those crimes. And whilst I could look away, whilst I could go, ah, maybe, the reality is that this is the real you. And you were just saying all that stuff to try and be cool. Try and be one of the cool kids as you were seething. Seething at Josh, seething at the anus man, seething at anyone who crossed you, the Council of Evil, Jesse especially, Worski, anyone who slighted you. A failed gunt. That moment where he 
looks at it, and he looks at it so puzzled. But he's like really inquisitive. <laughs> really inquisitive as he. So it's, it's this extra movement right here. Watch. It's there. He's like. It's there, it's there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Ralph is lighting a cigar. My aching sides. Ralph is lighting a cigar. Seven minutes later, with silence, finally lights an incredibly deep pocket. That is on its own. So, and by the way, it's somebody that I want to have on our side of the aisle. But I offered it. Uh, Ralph, where did you go? Can you imagine if you're, like, can you imagine Rush Limbaugh getting this fucked up on Pope? Because that's what Ralph's trying to pretend that he is. With Ralph's trying to be Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> Ralph's trying to be Rush Limbaugh, folks. When has that ever been a thing? When has Ralph ever tried to be Rush Limbaugh? It's Ethan Ralph. Ralph's trying to be Rush Limbaugh, folks. He's failing epically. I'm Rush Limbaugh, motherfuckers. I'm a big fucking deal. I'm a, I'm a Ralph male. I'm famous, bitch. It's like the drum call, the fucking clown. You literally can't even maintain your composure fucking jonesing for your drugs on the air. Can't even keep it PPP's down. internet can't even maintain its composure. He's literally a slideshow. A pissed PowerPoint. Worski is on his phone right now. Begging pay pigs to donate in his Discord. We got some donuts here. Slim Dung Bling Blong. Tickled Warski for ten dollars. Uh, he's singing Lexi here. Oh, I wish I was in Dixie, but Mexico's more south. Look away, look away, look away. This is painful. <laughs> painful. But I want to inflict the pain that I'm feeling onto you, audience. My biggest fuck up in ten years was giving this guy a platform. Was allowing this guy to be my apprentice. I fucked up real big. I really did drop the ball on that one. My aching sides. I'm starting to run out of money for Xanaberries and cocaine. Situation is desolate. Acts of wild dogs are enclosing on my position as I speak. Not sure if I can hold out till the morning. Well, I've got another dramatic reading that will blow that one out of the water. And I think we'll do this to Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Return of the Squire of Gothos. I literally just want to have the Squire arc for like a week. People are going to be pissed. People are going to be mad, but it's genius, TBH. It's the only way to respond to this shit show. Now, if you look at the date, you look at what the shit show is, this is when Gahul dropped the law on snacks. And he was getting everyone to try and make content to sweep it up. I said no. But, you know, this was live during the fucking drop. What a failure. I missed it. Persip, by the way, misses everything. Misses everything. He works like 18 hours a fucking day. But Persip missed it. Gahul, he was watching the whole time, by the way. Gahul is a fag. Gahul is a fag for dropping the law on snacks. Gahul is evil. Somewhere over the rainbow. If only Squire of Gothos can sweep it up. Please. Please. Anyone, sweep it up for me.
I think like Brian, there's like four Persip accounts. There has to be, hasn't there? How else would Persip be able to watch every single stream that ever goes up when he's working an 18 hour day? <laughs> but this is what he thinks of you, Gahul. And when he tries to make the long walk back in five pounds of gun, let's get that back together. Amazing. Back to obscurity, Gahul. Enjoy having your biggest accomplishment be about me and Godwinson as usual. The ego of the man. The ego. But we'll persevere. Oh, it's so funny. They made a deep fake porn of the wife and kids. That's really funny and hilarious. We need to do a dramatic reading of that. And guffaw over it. Top tier. I mean, come on. They're coming after my grandfather. Oh, he's got the Warski validation. He's on cloud nine. My boss said I did a good job. Even though I'm, I had to reset my modem about nine times during the stream. Even though I've been put in my place like a little bitch about ten times during the stream. Warski said I did a good job and that brings a little smile to my troon face. A little smile there. Did a good job there, PPP. He's wiping away the tears. He's, he's so happy. Tears of glee and joy that Worski has complimented him. It's all been worth it. All been worth it. Ten times more than Pansu. It would be harder for courts to track him down. It just makes sense at this point. His life is over. It really is. But it's, it's really fucking belted. Uh, we've got Kishio Claude Raider here for five. Thank you so much. Ralph literally said moon He's still on cloud nine that Worski complimented him. He's really happy. He's going to sleep well tonight. Not going to have the axe of Damocles over his head. Is he going to be replaced by Pod Awful? No, not today. Not this time. PPP gets to live another day. We need donations because all of them are fake and the show's not going well. And we need the eight fucking Uber Eats delivery of the day. Uh, Gahul? You want to know what he thinks of you? I guess Gahul has a gun. Will he end it all? He wanted you to die and blow your brains out. <laughs> Imagine donating to Gator, dear God. Where the fuck are my donos at, Godwinson? This stream is my own personal hell. That was when he had Gator on, by the way. Imagine donating to Gator. Where the fuck are my donos at, Godwinson? This stream is my own personal hell. He is vaccinated. 
He really is vaccinated. Uh, breaking news alert. Him and Worski are vaccinated. I can't wait for my ninth booster. I want to die. It's tough. And if you want to see what the effect of the vaccine has had on the man, observe. Observe. Watch this live, folks. Oh, my God. To uncouple, to divest, if you want to use that term, from big tech. Wait. Right? For the business Wait. models of the movement as we move forward. Wait. To not rely... Well, he's already on his ninth booster. I mean, that was sent just after his second booster. So I imagine he's on his ninth one by now. I mean, look at him. Looks like shit. The tin foil of the Coke is on his glasses. Eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, we got, got him. him. Like, dude. It's her objection. See? Objection, Your Honor. But, there's, and he's there's red. Tin foil from the cocaine on his glasses. Your Honor, the client, the defendant. There's tin foil on his glasses. There's tinfoil on his glasses. There's cake crumbs on his shirt. There's white powder round his nose. So there's tinfoil on his glasses. Fucking tomato. <laughs> He's a holler the Sweden. Now people have pointed out that of course the cocaine wouldn't be in tinfoil because Ralph was literally unwrapping a sandwich that was wrapped in tinfoil. But it's cocaine, apparently, that comes to you in tinfoil. The snort, Your Honor. There's tinfoil on the cocaine. Like, you can actually see a particle of the coke on the tinfoil. On the cocaine, yeah. Well, see it? And also... See, there's like a little piece, a little rock of coke is on the fucking edge of... There's a rock of coke. A rock of coke. <laughs> there's a rock of coke on there, apparently. I cut it out, obviously, because it didn't happen. Chopping the coke. He left the tinfoil from there. Like, what? Did he smash his face into the table? See, that no. was just the tinfoil from the boxed wine. Oh, yeah. Some rando says you don't put cocaine in tinfoil. That's coming from an expert. And an expert is going to co-sign that statement. Some rando. It's such weak sauce. Such weak fucking sauce. However. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I've got this. I've got the buffet. And then the last bow. So that's where we are on this one. We're just about on time as well. So, Surfer, you're in the chat. This is for you. I was waiting for you to arrive, bro. And this one's for you, my friend, brother. Surfer is so desperate and sad. The police didn't even go to his address from what they told me. They went to 732. And also harassed in Ashton Parks in Kent, British Columbia. My family all day was told I killed my roommate and myself. But yeah, it's definitely an attack on Surfer, fucking faggot. Perset, what the fuck? Yeah, 
The police wasted over 10k in two different provinces on a manhunt to find me whilst I was streaming and they knew I wasn't dead. So Surfer gets swatted and apparently PPP is the victim. Honestly, it's just jealous poor facts. Surfer is seething because I showed that he didn't make the content and it's rich of him, a confirmed cop caller, to cry about swatting. It's rich of sw Surfer to cry about swatting when he's being swatted all the fucking time because of you. Surfer's desperate for a win. In fact, this isn't about Surfer. He's so desperate to go... This is about Josh. So Josh, if you're watching, this is his thoughts on you. He's so desperate to go get this win back after New Project 2, but nothing will ever change what happened. Nick, sorry buddy, Racket's wife makes more money than him and leads the household. Laugh my ass off, he's totally fucked up. Yeah, he's drunk as shit. It was a great rant, TBH. I don't know, man. His elocution is pretty pure and drunk. He's still so... S just coping, seething, because one of his enemies have done a good show. All the shows in Mayo is him seething about Ralph and myself, who are both so far beneath his position and so irrelevant to his life. And it's just sad. It's just sad. Ralph can't even afford the booze to get drunk after Vickers took it all. This was a public tweet. My disappointment is immeasurable. I can't believe the A-Logs couldn't even win a poll. I want to string Josh up from a meat hook for this. I want to string Josh up from a meat hook for this. And chop off his cock. And chop off his cock. There you are, Josh, on the meat hook. PPP's putting you there whilst he chops off your genitalia. But in public, he's like, Jenny, Josh, please. Please, Jenny, Josh, don't, don't do anything negative against me. And I'll, I'll respect your non-aggression pact with me. Okay, so... Clearly, there was not enough in the Ralph Pill stream to stop them from a logging a wholesome family man again and getting them to try and getting the audience to try and call CPS on the kids again. So here they are, because PPP wants to look at food. Now I'm going to give you some law here. PPP in confidence shared something with me, and I'm gonna break that confidence right now. During COVID, buffets were outlawed in Canada. Buffets were outlawed in, calendar, uh, in Canada during COVID. PPP used to look at buffets in other countries during COVID and, and literally like look at them like a, a chick would holiday brochures of beaches and shit. And so it doesn't surprise me that his content now is literally watching buffets because they've been fucking outlawed. And maybe they've come back in Canada. Maybe, maybe he can't just be a gluttonous pig in Canada. Maybe he has to abide by a two meter distancing law or wear a mask when he goes to a buffet now. But this is why we're being served up this buffet. He's jealous of the Americans that didn't have their buffets cooked. These redneck hick yokels have never seen soap. By the way, just to scorch earth, this fucking Janny faggot, their sargoy look wrenched in his chat, dare not say anything that goes against the grain in case he loses his wrench, because he's a faggot. An absolute faggot, ladies and gentlemen. Women down there, they've never heard of the razor. Is 
Razor deodorant soap, like, bro, you're, you've sweat through that shirt. I can only imagine the smell in that room. That apartment must smell like shit. The guy can't even wash himself because he's that fat. Walks around, flakes of shit hanging off his ass. But here he is lecturing the redneck yokels about soap. Come on. Take the bar of soap and wipe it over yourself in the water. That makes you clean. He got a rag on a stick for Christmas, by the way, and shared it publicly on Twitter. He got a rag on a stick that his family bought him so he can clean himself. But there he is, literally, desperately trying to claim a win over these redneck yokels. They don't use soap. They can't wash themselves properly. Guy gets a rag on a stick for Christmas. Pinta dine in an old horse bucket here at the Dirt Dutchman. Did the ten of the horse bucket? Look what Paul is saying. I'm the only ten I see. I agree. I'm the only ten I see around here, you fucking swine. He's a ten. Masturbation-related neck injury for tech. Do you call a worker in America that will work hard for? <clears throat> I'm bringing this to an end because let let me just show you the fucking. So there they are, a log in the buffet again. Going full Fuentes, Going full Fuentes apparently. This guy on the, this guy eating. There's this nasty food there. Okay, so just so the record is clear. And I just want to do my last bow on this one. It's been a wild ride, ladies and gentlemen. 10 years, 11 nearly. My biggest skeleton, the scandal that will ultimately bury me is PPP. I fucked up, truly, I fucked up. I'm gonna leave you with one last DM drop. I'm in this one, by the way. I appear as deleted user. But I'm going to show you. Right now. He's going to visit Xander and take pictures. It's already arranged with Faith. Persip says that's terrible. Terribly awesome. Now, who's going to visit Xander and take pictures? Not Ralph. No. Worski. Because they were planning to fly out to California and take pictures with the baby. They're coming for my family, my grandfather. Well, Worski's going to visit Xander and take pictures. It's already arranged with Faith. Purse it with the reality check, that's terrible. PPP goes terribly awesome. I go, hopefully he doesn't murder this baby because Worski is renowned for murdering kids. Hopefully he doesn't murder this baby. You want to know what PPP's response is to that? I wouldn't care either way, to be honest. They're coming for my grandfather! Oh, no! He's, Worski's going to visit Xander and take pictures. It's already arranged with Faith. That's terrible. Terribly awesome. Hopefully he doesn't murder this baby. I wouldn't care either way, TBH. It's over. It's so fucking over. It's done.
I'll see you in about 13 years, when I'm dug up as an antediluvian king by some other spurg. Until then, obey the rules of the Kino Dogma 2007. Never give up, never surrender. And ultimately, do it for fun. Do it because you like to do it. Don't be one person in the dark and another person in the light. And always remember, if there's one teaching from the Kino Dogma 2007, that you can truly keep with you in all things. No half measures. No half measures.